American women actually go out of their way to hide their flaws and people can tell and that's kind of awkward um European slash French women what they do is like if they have a flaw they actually don't go out of their way to hide it they actually kind of like enhance it or like say like Barbara Streisand was made fun of having a big nose there he goes Ooh, Oh, uh, he might hit the thing. Don't hit the thing, Wally. Oh no, his chains come off. <laughs> his chains come off. Nielsen, let's try that. So that's called me. Nielsen. Well, what did this make you do? What happened to your butthole when this happened? I want to tell me about your butthole. Oh. <laughs> Don't. It's <laughs> a good one. Someone's just showed me a really good sausage. And Sandy 87 thank you for the sausage picture. I'm gonna just put that up. This is not about Lego today. This is about sausages. I should I should probably um have these in separate windows. Never mind. Doesn't that look good? Oh, nice sausage. Mmm, it's making my mouth water. Jamie Ellen says, we were initially just using a cheap grinder. It's the B-Wing. <laughs> oh, someone else do it. You can do it next year or whenever you, you know. Hopefully the offer will still be there. I'm sure they'll be, they'll be very privileged to have you on. Maya says, after I came out to my family, I went on Facebook and basically told everybody, and if anybody doesn't like it, they can unfriend me. Good. <laughs> and so... Maybe. Uh oh Uh... Yeah, but it's not done, fuck off. <laughs> yeah, we haven't got melted salt yet. Let's try again. I'm not sure if it's hot enough. If I try and do it, it won't work. Like, watch. Oh, shit. Well, you know, okay. Okay, work that one time. And the other time. Is that a fairly new Matrix game? I didn't, I didn't know that that existed, actually. Hello, everybody. It's, uh, it's me, Maya Foss. This is Transbricks. And we are live from Norway. From the Lego room in Norway. This is my Lego room. Hello, everybody. I hope you're doing really well. Hope you're having a really cool Sunday. Real chill. Real chill style. Fresh hair. I know I got fresh hair. Well, fresh-ish. Like it's um, it's okay. Um, needs a wash soon. Storage is here. Oh, lots of people are here. It's fantastic to see you all in my chat. Happy Sunday, everyone. Storage says I was so early. Twitch had no idea how to how to handle it. What uh, what happened? Did Twitch just crash on you, or did it say you're not? You're not actually allowed to be here. You're not supposed to be here. Um, come back in another hour or so. Jacket, visa, oh, we've got a redeem for the fit already. Netflix, Good choice. Belt, I'll show you my fit in a, in a little bit. Let me just catch up with you. Thanks for the redeem, whoever it was. Bag. Gucci. Aurelia's here. Hello, Aurelia. Slofty is here as well. Hello. Um, Aurelia's very excited. She's singing disco music. Uh, are you excited? because of the stream or are you excited because of the adventures that we're going to get up to tomorrow not tomorrow tuesday 
Thousand is here as well. Hello, hello Thousand Stars. How are you doing? I hope you're doing having a really nice day. You're gonna be just in the background. That's that's fine. That's fine. Uh, Storage says that Thousand Stars clips are so mean. Mm, which ones? <laughs> yeah, which ones? What are you talking about? The celebration of the soldering failures. Oh, I see what you mean. <laughs> Well, I mean, that's fine. It's, it's um, like, you know, if I'm doing stuff, then you can clip it. If I'm failing spectacularly, then I don't think there's a, I still think that's, a, you know, that's still a good reason to clip. Uh, Levator's here. Hello, Levator. How are you doing? Hello, Lego Room, she says. They were successful at the time. Well, it, I got there in the end. It broke again. But, um... But I kind of came to a different solution now. But I still would like to fix that ring light. Um, and I still just, I'm going to have another go at soldering it, I think, because I've got all the stuff. I just, I mean, actually, I'm, I'm happier with my solution. Uh, this is the new solution. It's, it's just a strip of, L of LEDs along the side just to kind of fill in the light on that side. Don't need it really now because it's daylight, but you know, when it's dark, that's, you know, that's really helpful. And it's Norway, so it's often dark. Unless it's not. Unless it's sunny. So sunny. Oh, sorry, summer. And then it's daylight. All the time. Uh, thank you, Aurelia. Thank you. You're excited about both things. Cool. Thousand stars redeem my fit. So let me just uh, show you my fit. Before further ado. It's a pretty fucking funky jumpsuit. Really, really like this one. Haven't worn it very much, um, but I should, you know. And like, I don't think I've actually even worn it. I don't think I've ever worn it out. Actually, I've never. I don't know if I've ever really felt like I've had the occasion to. But it's it's time. I'm gonna probably take it to Oslo. I'm gonna take it to Oslo this week. So. I thought I'd give it a whirl, see what see what see what it was like, and I quite like it. It's good, isn't it? Thank you. <laughs> McLaren Lego McLaren Lego F1 arrived today as well, so building that on stream tomorrow. Fabulous! That's exciting. I can't wait to pick up some of those cars. I really can't. Oh, there's so much good Lego. There's so much good Lego coming out in March. Honestly. 3rd of March today, so a couple of days ago, Lego just dropped a Lego bomb on all the shops. And there's so many good new sets, some really good Speed Champions, some fantastic midi scale Star Wars sets. I think there's a new Viking village, is there? New power? No, a medieval village. Yeah, a new medieval village. There's all sorts of cool things. Anyway, cheers, everybody. Happy Sunday. Chocolate milkshake. <laughs> Hmm. Dracolitz is building the midi scale Falcon right now. Flacon. That's the French for Falcon. <laughs> How's it going? Is, is it, are you having fun? Actually, you know what? I'm excited to look at the instructions for that. I would, you know what? I'm just going to do it. Should I do it? Should I just spoil it for myself or should I wait till I get it? Oh no. I don't know what to do actually. I don't know if I should just go and spoil it for myself. Like, I really want to see it. You should vote. Yeah, let's have a poll. Should Maya... Yeah, exactly. Should Maya look at the instructions for the MIDI scale Falcon? I assume they're available now on Lego. Usually if the set's out, then it will be. Don't spoil the kits you're expecting. So this is the thing though, I really, I was sort of wondering if I could just build it, you know, I don't own it and I'm just wondering if I could build it. And if I look at the instructions, I'll know them, won't I? But I also want to buy it because I know that, I know that there's a few pieces for sure that I don't have. And I'll kind of fairly specific to the Falcon, main, mainly the cockpit. 
I have something very similar, which will sort of work, but it's not as good. So, I think it's a valid, it's a valid question. It has printed pieces on the canopy, doesn't on the cockpit. What's it called? Cockpit. Cone. Cone. It's a cone. It's conical. Not comic, not to be confused with comical. Which is, um, which is just, it's a bit funny that, isn't it? <laughs> so she may I take the instructions and I should not vote. I think I should not vote for this one because it concerns me, doesn't it? So I will, I will, I will keep my oar out of this one. Anyway, thousands in the background now. That's cool. That's cool. Hope you, hope you um, enjoy the stream. I'm just going to put some stuff away that's on my desk. Um, and I'm also going to turn my build camera on, actually, because I always forget, don't I? I always forget that bit. If you're wondering why I sound a bit slow and why the stream is delayed, it's because I'm feeling very slow and delayed. <laughs> I'm feeling extremely slow and delayed today. I um, might have had a little bit too much red wine last night. Not sure if that's got anything to do with it at all. Uh-huh. It's possible, okay? I mean, this is this is a possibility. It may have something to do with it. I'm not sure. So it's been a bit of a slow start to the day today. I hope you can understand. I'm going to check how the poll's going because this concerns me. Mm, okay, no, that's, that's interesting. People are fairly adamant so far that I should not check out the instructions for the Falcon. And another one for now. Cool, interesting. It's quite nice that you don't want it to be... It's quite nice that you don't want me to spoil it for myself. It's very considerate. Obviously, I can still do it. I don't have to do what you, what you tell me. Fuck you, I won't do what you tell me! Ah! Bricklets, it's a really good build. It's almost as good as your designs. Oh, wow, high praise indeed. Uh, it feels really mock-like. Oh, that's quite interesting, actually. Really mock-like, yeah. I mean, like how we're getting more and more advanced with the building techniques, aren't they? It wasn't long ago where we had uh, studs up, maybe the odd tile here and there. But um, yeah, nothing too exciting. And then the occasional bracket to put studs on the side just for details, you know. But nowadays, no, they're like, uh, they're going crazy on the Lego and I'm all for it. I love, I love the fact that they're being incredibly creative. They are pushing it to the limits. And I am, I am there for it. I mean, obviously it's never going to be quite as good as the stuff that I make, but you know, they do the best. continuing to tidy up my desk once I've tidied up my desk uh, well I don't know actually but I'll feel a lot better about things basically let's go to the sorting scene so you can see what's on my desk hmm. that's my just looking for my big set of prey and it's right there I mean anyway, I'm really looking forward to, to building it really looking forward to that I it's you know if I can I'm gonna get it this month if I can but I don't know if I can honestly but it says sorry for the typo no it, uh, no forget it <laughs> it doesn't matter typo schmipo um I think first order once I get home will be to look for a new keyboard and mouse that's a good idea once you get home once you get home from um, from Norway yes just realized that I've forgotten something in my so I want to show you my sp my spinner it's it's I'm really speaking of my designs this is a Maya special it's a Maya original uh, it's premium premium Maya original set and oh my god I'm, I'm so happy with it <laughs> it makes me feel warm and giggly 
makes my funny. It makes my tummy feel funny. Thank you, everyone, for voting. The results are in, and it's unanimous. No, I should not spoil it for myself and look at the instructions online. That's cool. I'm gonna do it anyway. No, uh, I will. I will honour the results of the poll. Thank you. This time. unlike me oh sorry unlike certain Tory leaders I do believe in democracy check it out check out my spinner guys here it is I think it's maybe finished there's a lot of color subs, subs. I mean a fair amount not a not a not, not a huge amount but a fair, a fair amount uh, the actual color should be dark blue so you can see there's, there's a fair amount of dark blue there. But I've not managed to do it all dark blue. And, um, and then there's also some bits like those grey... Oh, look at the state of that back. Oh, look at that back. So the, the white bits there, they should be the transparent blue. Flare blue. Um, those white tiles, white circular tiles. And then also those bars holding the lights on should be black. Um, yeah, you know. So anyway, there's colour subs. What I'd like to do today is, um, so this is the physical, the latest physical incarnation of the model. I believe I'm pretty much done. Barring my own adjustments, I believe this is done. So I'm going to digitize the changes back into the digital model. And then we're gonna, and then I'm gonna figure out what parts I don't have from the digital model. Make a part list, and I'm gonna. Shit, I might just order it on stream. What about that? Any cheers? Any cheers that you'd like to cheer, as well as me adding bits to my earrings. Basically, those cheers are gonna go towards this latest Britlink order, so that I can finish the spinner off, have it properly coloured. It's, and then once I've done that, I can put my stickers on. This is without doubt one of the best Lego mocks I have made. I think it's, you know, I feel like it's up there with the, with the tumbler. I kind of feel like it's like, <laughs> Thank you for your contribution. Thank you very much indeed. Let me add some bricks. Yeah, no, I didn't need to be a tiebreaker, did I? I'm more of a heartbreaker than a tiebreaker, honestly. Put a little ass on it. Oh, listen, baby. Put a little ass on it. Like a baby. Like, like a, a baby. baby. What an idiot. Like a baby. Put a little ass on it. Feel the Did he also write the lyrics? Uh, Levator says it's allowed. It's Sunday after all. It is Sunday. That is allowed. Although, you know what? I shouldn't have done it. I, I'm not. I'm not a spring chicken anymore. And I just don't know if I can drink, like, the majority of a whole bottle of wine. And I don't think it's a good idea. But I did it. And there's no way to go back in time and fix, fix my mistakes. Not anymore. Well, there never was. There never was a way to do that. There's a danger near the bottom of the bottle. That's the part that can cause problems. At the bottom. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Got to remember that. Got to stay away from the bottom of the bottle. But the like the the top three quarters is good, yeah. So if I just buy a couple of bottles and only drink the top three quarters of those bottles, I should be fine. This is a great, uh, great tip. Thank you, Elevator. No, it's an advisory poll, exactly. Ready says, also next poll, remind me to disable the channel points for thingies. Yes. So that we can't, because otherwise it can be, like, it's fine if it's a silly poll, but if it's a poll that's actually a little bit, kind of, we actually do want to know the result, then... Um, then yes, we need to disable that, don't we? Yeah. 
story says I voted no purely because it'll be more dramatic when you inev inevitably betray us all. <laughs> me? Moi? Betray? No. I think you have me mixed up for someone else. <laughs> Brickland says it's really advanced. This is really advanced. Is that the... Uh, is that the falcon or are you talking about my spinner? I don't know anymore. Hello to Bill. How you doing? How's your Sunday, Bill? You going down to pub? You going down to pub? Wish I was down to pub. Down at pub, even. Palpatine, Palpatine loves democracy too. Does he? We need to make room for this one. He says, I love democracy. I love democracy, me. <laughs> Bricklets, with your skills, I don't think you really need to look at instructions to basically see what is going on. Thank you, Bricklets. That's very, um, that's very nice of you to say. Flattery will get you everywhere. Um, it's true, actually. It, but it's just not true. But um, but I mean, but also, like, I can only guess. I can only guess, and sometimes I won't get it right because it could go either way, you know. <sighs> Story says, I'm an ass breaker. <laughs> What? <laughs> well, we all know what Storage has been doing on this weekend. Off. Whoa! Uh. It's got to be, you know, you got to be more gentle. Storage, I, I really think you should be more gentle. I don't know why I said that. Don't judge me. It's too late. We've all judged you, Storage. We've all judged you. We've all mentally made a little note of the fact that you said that and it will forever cloud our opinion of you. Forever. <laughs> but it suggests that I should wear the jumpsuit to the theatre. If it's comfy. It is comfy. Question is, is it warm enough? Um, because this is showing a bit of skin here, you know. It's got a bit of shoulder skin area. No, this side, isn't it? This side. So I don't know. Well, both sides. Really. But it is but it is super comfy. Like, there's no question that. Levita says, I have to test the drinking only the top half of the bottle's theory sometime. It's a good idea. You know, the thing is, though, like, actually, maybe there is something to that. It's sort of fun because in red wine specifically, or in particular, a lot of the a lot of the bits go down they sink to the bottom of the bottle don't they and it is those bits that, that fuck you right up so i'm just wondering if you know i don't know honestly i prefer boxes of wine because you get a lot more in them you know no, but also you don't have to like you can just have a glass of wine and you don't feel like you need to finish the bottle because because a, a bottle of wine that's been left out, and it doesn't matter how well you've managed to recork it or, you know, vacuum vacuum it out or whatever. It doesn't really matter. It's never going to taste quite as good as the, the, the day it's opened, in my opinion. But but a box of wine, where it's got a little tap, they're really good. I really recommend that. They're usually pretty good value for money for what you get. And... Yeah, you can just have like a glass of wine and then you'd be like, you know what, that's that's me done. I'm fine now. I don't need any more. But actually, even though you've got more wine, I feel like it encourages you to drink less. Strangely. Having said that, those boxes never last very long. I don't know what's going on there. Hello, Studio Errol. Boxes or, boxes or bottles, Errol? Boxes or bottles? <laughs> Maybe that's another vote. <laughs> Errol and storage and nemesis, nemesis, ne ne nemesis, well, <laughs> I must have missed something, but apparently now they are, they are the worst, they are enemies, which is, which is great, I love a bit of drama on, cha on channel, a bit of drama, Sometimes there's some clever, real clever stuff going on inside those builds. There are on there already. There is some real clever stuff. And you can't, for example, with a speed champions, the dark horse, like I have seen the, I have seen the, a lot of the construction of that. And there's some really clever things that I would not have been able to predict. Some of, just the way that this constructed, some of it's using technique to just uh, pin extra parts on. 
and I don't think it even has to it's just like it's just quite nice you know so it just enhances the build experience Although I don't think you had to do it like there's other ways of doing it you know but that's the thing with Lego there's often uh, more than one way to skin the cat the Lego cat yeah. Rickland says yes but that is to find out during the build it is so how do you take your wine we got our next pot up this is a good one bottle box or bucket <laughs> a bucket of wine can i hello shopkeeper i would like the, your finest bucket of wine please so i prefer i prefer so it's not how you so i prefer box okay but bottles good too hello frida frida's here hello frida hello How's your doggy day going? Are you having a nice doggy day? A nice doggy Sunday? Yeah, are you? Frida's come to visit because she likes to say hello to everyone on the stream. Um, don't you? Yeah, you're a big fan. She's probably been watching it downstairs on one of the iPads. So, hello. Yeah, hello. And what do you want? You are stinky. Why is she? She's quite stinky. I'm just gonna have to tell you right now. I know you can't, you're not gonna pick that up, but she's kind of stinky. Oh, I know why, it's because she's gone up a mountain today. Have you been up a mountain? Yes, you have, haven't you? You've been up a mountain with mummy. Yes. Aren't you a good, aren't you a lucky doggy? <laughs> Frida, what do you want? What do you want, Frida? What do you want? What? What? I think she wants something, but I. But she's not. She's just looking at me. She's not actually telling me what she wants, which is inconvenient. You can stick around, Frida, or you can go. It's up to you. So, lots of people voting on the wine options. I think it's an important question. It's one of the most important questions of our times. Show me what you got. Oh, we gotta show you what we got. Women, show me what you got. So you wanna see more Frida? <laughs> there she is. Show me what you got. That's an easy one. That's an easy peasy one. I'm happy to happy to oblige. Aren't you a good dog, Frida? Look, they wanna see you more than me probably now. You're stealing the sh that's called stealing the show. And it's fine. I mean, it's understandable. I wish I was as glossy and shiny as her, although I don't envy the smell. Levita, those strapless tops are a danger on theatre or bus train seats because from behind it can look like you are naked, <laughs> which you might want, but that's a choice. <laughs> it's, I mean, it's, it's, um, it's got a strap on one side. It's got this strap, you know. It's a one-sided strap. Um. So I'm only half naked, in other words. Maybe hang the bottle upside down with a non-drip, a non-drip nozzle. Yeah, and that way the the um, the air is not going to get in because it's the air, isn't it? The air that messes the wine up. If you can keep the air out. But the thing is with that is, will it come out? because it'll be a vacuum at the top and so it'll be like you know if you if hmm, hmm i don't know maybe it would but it's a nice idea <coughs> excuse me studio says i don't really drink wine but i'm all for more alcohol so i'll go box a <laughs> box of what you do yeah bricklet says like you see in bars i just i don't know if i do see that in bars I know what you mean. You see that kind of stuff for spirits, but I don't think you see it for wine. Because I think house the bottle that they open, like for the house wine, tends to go pretty quick. So I don't think they need to do that. It's always, you know, they're always opening new bottles of house. Ah, who's winning? It's the bottle. I think the bottle's going to win. It's understandable. I disabled the points vote thingy while I was at it. Well done, Stoic. Well done. Ow! Still kicking, still kicking. Unbelievable, this bloody thing. Anyway, the uh, results are in in his bottle, um, followed by box, but only one person takes it in a bucket, which is kind of surprising, honestly. 
Or maybe I've misjudged my audience slightly. Oh, maybe I should raise the tone. That's, that's going to be tricky. Soft dude says, Miss is the Bella Lugosi option. I don't know what the Bella Lugosi option is. Slough dude says, I never drink dot 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 wine. I don't, I, is it a uh, Bella Lugosi? So is this some kind of Dracula reference? Right, it says, how do I take my wine? In food. You don't drink wine by the glass, but you put it in your food. Yeah, cool. You cook with it. Don't do that in Norway because it's too expensive to. So this is something you're not going to be able to do when you come to Norway, Aurelia. You're not going to be able to buy a, bottle, buy a little bottle of wine to cook with because it's going to be probably double the price of a big bottle of wine that you would have normally got in Copenhagen. Oh, sorry, not in, uh, in Denmark. <laughs> so wine is a very precious substance here. Hello, Rex. How you doing? Hope your Sunday's fantastic. So is it smelly on the mountain is the question. Mm, no, it's not smelly on the mountain. It's nice and fresh, but Frida gets stinky. She, you know, because she's been working out. She's been going hard. She's been running up and down, probably rolling in mud and God knows what else. Now says, hey, with the new shiny hair, you're a good match for doggy shit, doggo shiny. Thank you. I don't know if you noticed, but it's got a bit of red in it as well. It's kind of hard to, it's a bit hard to see, honestly, with this light. I don't know if you can really see it. It's a bit subtle, but in daylight, it's really obvious. And when there's a light behind me, like if I grab this ring light, which I'm not going to do, but if I did and put it behind me, you'd be able to see all those. Actually, I'm so surprised you can't see with that window. Anyway, it's there. Trust me. It's, trust me. It's there. Really asks, have you checked your hair in the mirror? It's on stream at, at least. Looks plenty glossy. All right. Yeah. Okay. Sure. But I'm not glossy all over. That's what I, you know, <laughs> maybe that's for the best. The, uh, yeah, with liquor. That's, yeah, exactly. With vodkas and things like that. It, that's how they, that's what they do. The disappointment in bucket wine drinkers is palpable. <laughs> <laughs> Studio Earl. Yeah, rarely, rarely wine in drip safes. Mm, pointless. And Earl's been in a bar. You've worked in a bar, so you know. Since the wine goes fast, always sold by the bottle. Exactly. That's what I just said. I just said that. Yeah, I just said it. I just, I just knew. Rick Lutz says that wine is rotten grapes to begin with. It's not rotten. It's not rotten grapes. I'm, I'm, I'm picking up a hint of sour grapes, though. It's a Dracula reference. Okay, I got it. I'm not completely uncultured. Not completely. But it says, I'll bring a few bottles when I move up there, mate. That's a really good idea, actually. Just so I have some to cook with. That's that's a less good idea. <laughs> Rex is good. I'm very happy to hear it. John's here too. Hello, John. Happy Sunday. Bricklet says, I, uh, yes, I, I, I see the red. I see the red, it's awesome. I, I, that's great. I don't know how well it picks up because I'm obviously looking at it on a different monitor, which maybe the color reproduction is not as good. It's quite an old monitor, this is an old Dell. The resolution's not great, but it's it's fine for my purposes. It's probably like a quarter the resolu resolution of my MacBook. The big, and it's a bigger monitor. Fermentation and rot are not the same. Corrects Aurelia. Uh, Bricklets, yes, but the topic was a was a nox. Was a nox was easy because you can tap a, bo a box, a box. <laughs> of course you don't use non drips for wine, but of course you don't. Obviously, John. Happy Sunday. Hope everybody is having a good day. Thank you, John. I'm having a pretty good day. A slightly hungover day, but pretty, but pretty good, considering. First mission for mayor is to drink Aurelia's cooking wine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not gonna last long, honestly. It's like, ooh, wine. <laughs> Gone. Maya, have you seen the bottle of wine that I brought? I was gonna cook with it, but I just can't find it anywhere. No, I haven't seen that. No. <laughs> really is gonna look up the rules. I'll bring some cheap wine for cooking and a Moscow for us to enjoy. 
yeah, no, if you can, if you can find some cheap wine, then I'll, I'll drink that. No, I mean, then we can cook, then we can cook with that as well instead, whatever. I used to, honestly, I used to cook with wine in the UK, but there's, you know, I don't, do, I haven't done it since moving to Norway. Strangely. Yeah. I wonder how you're going to cope. You know, I wonder how you're going to cope with the inevitable culture shock. And it's not going to be a massive thing because Danish culture, Norwegian culture, it's not, you know, it's not ridiculously different, right? It's, it's similar. But I just work it, but it's still going to be something. You know, you're still going to find differences and you're going to be like, what the fuck? You, you do it like this? That's weird. And I'm going to be like, hmm. Yeah, I know it's weird. Oh, you should see how we do it in the UK. Or, you know, something like that. Like, we don't even do it in the UK. But what was I going to look at? I was going to close my sand crawler. I put my sand... I don't know if you can see, actually. No, you maybe can't. But my sand crawler's here now. I put my sand crawler up on my shelf. I'll show you. There's the sand crawler. Along with a very small part of the back cave. The, the part with the poles where they slide down from his office. Sounds like the best part. But I still might get rid of it all. Um, the rest is in this box here. And this needs all sorting out. I will do that at some point. In my life I will do that. But just not yet. Now I've got this. Uh, I'm now going to sort this for your viewing pleasure. <laughs> I'm just saying, yeah, sorting and chatting. But I will get to this. Um, I probably will get to the Blade Runner spinner. God, it's annoying that. Why is it so blue? Look at that. It's going blue. Hmm, and I'm sure it didn't used to do that. Do 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 do. Edel says you can bring three liters of wine down to forty krona a bottle, which is around sixty krona, which is not very much, hey. Now hold on, it scrolled and then I read it as one sentence and it made no sense. How funny. <laughs> Let me read the two separate sentences by two different people. You can bring three litres of wine already as long as you don't bring liquor. Great. And then already it says, like we have wine down to 40 Danish kroner a bowl, which is around 60 kroner in Norwegian. And yeah, I don't think you can get it here for that. I just, I just don't think you can get it for that cheap here. Probably... I don't know, probably the cheapest is going to be about a hundred, about a, a hundred krona. I always had a thousand krona, but that would have been too much. And that would be for a small ball. And if you order a glass of wine at a bar in Oslo, for example, then you're going to be paying more than that. It's going to set you back more than a hundred krona. For a glass, for just a glass, just a small glass of wine, house wine. You're looking at maybe 12, 120, 130 krona for a small glass of wine. Like that's, that just feels wrong to me. That just feels really bad that you're literally paying like twice no like three times the price for a small glass of wine that you could pay for an entire bottle of wine in the uk forget about france if you went to france then you're basically paying 10 times the price almost isn't that incredible 10 times the price i just kind of made that up but Maybe it's not true, but it's but still feels true. Yeah, that's something you're gonna have to get used to already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
one in my food isn't a life necessity. Well, I'm happy to hear that because you, it may be one of the compromises that you're gonna need to make, sorry. I'm just gonna go back to the chat scene. This sorting is not that exciting, is it really? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So three liters of wine is is four bottles, four seven hundred and fifty centiliter bottles. That is that is true, isn't it? Let's bring all this uh, dark blue that I've not used back into the drawers. Now I've got some spares from the sand crawler, which I should probably put away. Aurelius asks, I am curious, what does a cheap bottle cost in like Crema Tucson or similar? <laughs> you ain't gonna go from Crema Tucson. You can't buy wine in shops, you have to go to Vin Monopoly. We should get it from Remetuzen. You can get you can get beer. You can get beer from uh, Remetuzen and supermarkets and things, but you cannot. Up to a certain alcoholic, yeah, four point seven five is the highest you can get. If you want higher than that, you have to go to Vimano playing again. Yeah, for beer, for spirits, for wine, whatever. We got a first time chat from Queen Lena Bean. Hello, and Queen Lena Bean says. You are loved, you are valid, you are beautiful. We are happy you are alive and here with us today. Make sure to eat, take your meds, hydrate and love yourself. Trans rights are human rights. That's very nice. Thank you, Lena, Lena Bean. Water, water, water. Let's hydrate. Thank you for the hydrate. Got my water. I'm gonna need this today. Um, yeah, so you can get bottles for around 100 to 120 krona and up, it, and it keeps going up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the thing is, those are those cheap bottles, those cheap, cheap in quotes, bottles of wine, they're okay. Like, they're not, they don't taste cheap, they don't taste bad, they taste okay. I mean, they, they, they taste pretty good, I gotta be, I gotta be honest. What are we looking at here? We're looking at. Looking at this, that's how I'm working out. Because I need to get I need to get this one. Because there's a lot of blue in here and there's a lot of cool pieces that I want to use for my spinner, so I'm gonna get this. But earlier says checking Vinny Monopoly, it looks like it looks like starting prices are around 80 krona. Okay, that's uh, cheaper than I thought. I haven't I don't remember seeing any wine for 80 krona, quite honestly. Is that maybe one of those small bottles? That'll be one of those small bottles, won't it? This one. These little drawers are difficult to open. They've got little handles, but it's 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 really cheap and crap. Edel says, oh, fair, never buy wine. I expected them to have raised isn't the price raised raised? Raised? Raised the price. Try that on for size before I get it right. What is this? Shit. Where did my inverted one by three slug breaks go? Huh. I don't know. Well, that's enough. I actually don't know where they go. Hmm. It used, to, it used to be around here, but I moved it. I don't know where I put it now, so I'm gonna have to just put that to the side. Never mind. <sighs> Queen Lino Bean says, get wrecked by an affirmation raid. It's like a hay raid, but wholesome and way better. That is a much better kind of raid, that, isn't it? That really is. I like that. I like that much better. Thank you, Lino Bean. You know, we've had so many hay raids that, um, you know, I can definitely say that I prefer this one, this kind of style. Thank you. 
<laughs> you got a shout out there. Where it says, but real talk, 100 kroner per bottle isn't terrible. That's pretty close to what I paid for cooking wine anyway, here in Denmark. And you tend not to get the cheapest. It, is usually, it usually makes sense, although honestly in Norway it doesn't really matter so much. Queen Lady Bean, just having fun go around giving love instead of sleeping. <laughs> are you supposed to be sleeping? Is it sleepy time where you are? Where are you then? Or are you just having a nice lazy day? Really, I like you can get 40 Danish kroner bottles, but I tend to get the, 50, the 6 to 70 Danish kroner ones. Okay, now that's so uh, that's a 75 centiliter for for 80 kroner. That's quite that's quite impressive. I didn't think it would be that little hmm I wonder what it's like as I say it's probably okay like I've not had a bad bottle of wine ever from from Vin Monopoly it's always been pretty good having said that I don't agree with the concept A lot of Norwegians do. A lot of Norwegians are like, yeah, actually, no, it's good. It's good that we can't get wine and we have to go to a specific place to get it from. That's a good thing. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, are you sure about that? Why, why, is, why is that good? Oh, it just means that, you know, the wine is, it's like, the wine is better. You can go to a different place and get better wine. It's like, if you want to get, if you want to get wine that's kind of cheap and rubbish, like what is that is that you know that's a choice that can be made you know poor people gotta get drunk too you know <sighs> right just got a hammer and shield to wield should things get bad have done in the past which certainly yeah. have yeah no i really is pretty quick off the bat Whoopsh, they're gone and i don't even see them usually because i'm never i'm never current with chat or very rarely <laughs> queen lena bean but why put the extra stress when a bot can stop it from happening? Can a bot stop it from happening? Stuff it. That's one of the reasons I can't imagine properly sorting my pieces. First, you have to get enough boxes for all the different types, and then you have to remember where everything is. And sometimes I don't. Yes, yeah, so sometimes I'm like shit. I have no memory. And it's like it's that's quite a popular piece. But the tricky part is when I move things around, right? Because normally I'm normally I know where things are. But when I'm when I'm re sort when I'm you know like when I'm like oh that, that doesn't make sense for this to be here or I need to upgrade this to a bigger box because I've got too many it's not going to fit anymore. When this kind of stuff happens, then I do sometimes just lose track. I know where they used to be. Now I don't know where they are exactly because I just I didn't think properly. I didn't make enough of a mental note. Queen Lindabine is in the US, but I work nights, so I normally go. To be at like, um, go to bed at 6 a.m., huh? 6 a.m. And I'm assuming that it's um, past that now in the States, isn't it? Yeah, no, it's well, it's well past 6 a.m. I couldn't tell you how far past, but I'm pretty sure it's back. Here it's 10 to 3 in the afternoon. Okay, here we go. It's 8.48. Thank you. Thank you. Radio says, I imagine Vin Monopoly just doesn't import the cheap wine. No, they don't. They have buyers. You know, they have like international buyers and they import decent wine. That's what they do. Um, but there's no, you know, there's no two for one offers in Tesco. You know, it's, I don't. Hmm. Soft dude, and they keep coming up with new types of mod plates and stuff. So you would have to keep adding drawers. Yeah. Also, but also, like for example, here's a good example. I'm going to show you one of my drawers, everyone. Hopefully, Twitch won't ban me for this. Let me just go to my building scene. So this is one of my drawers. If the camera can settle down, please. Um. And there's a bunch of different pieces in there, right? There's a bunch of different pieces. You can kind of get an idea of the general theme, I think, you know. 
bars and things <laughs> but but there's a mixture of pieces in there so it's you know so it's an option to it's an option to have drawers which hold different you know a, a, like a, a type of piece and it's not a, it's not hard to find in there because it's not it's not completely fully loaded of stuff oftentimes with that kind of piece also the color doesn't even matter that much sometimes because it's like it's almost for construction more than it is for you know anything else yeah, adult. Right. Twitch decided to just monopolize the screen, hmm? not allowing me to do anything else. You start a phone. It is then. Are you on Android? That sounds like a like a, like an Android problem. Like that sounds like it's something that Android would do. Because Android is evil. <laughs> Queen Lena Bin. Off to give some more of affirmation raids. Enjoy yourselves. Thank you for dropping in, Queen Lena Bin. You're welcome back anytime you like. Aurelia says it's a touch patronizing. The the Vin Monopoly thing. Yeah. Yeah, I guess patronizing. It's it's like you'll find that in Norway a lot. It's like they, they know what's best, you know? If that's what you're talking about. The government knows best, you know, the state knows best. And um, you know. It's like yes, you want you want to be able to choose your wine, but also you can have it from this very limited selection. Knock yourselves out. Hello again, Doggy Frida. Hello. 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 And I don't think, you know, because the thing is, if you go to one Vin Monopoly, just like in like all supermarkets and things in Norway, you go to one, you've been to them all. It's like, I think they have basically the same stuff, you know, nationwide. Because they buy it for the nation and ship it to everyone. So there's no independent, for example, there's no independent or even a possibility of having an independent uh, wine like uh, you know shop you know you can't do it so if you know if you if you if you wanted to do that in like you literally can't do that in Norway you can do that in any other country in the world I think I don't know well maybe not but like most you can't do that in you literally yeah I'd like to open a shop that sells wine yeah you're not allowed oh really no you're not allowed to do that sorry fuck off why don't you open a shop that sells fish? It's like, I don't, but I don't want to. I don't know anything about fish. I wanted to open a shop that sells wine. No, you're not allowed to do that. Only we're allowed to do that. You know? <laughs> Edel, I'm going to go be useful for a bit. Have fun. That's a shame because I wanted your take on that because you're Norwegian and I like, um, I just doesn't feel right to me though. Slough did with that one I could see the combination of studs and bars and even understand the inclusion of the plain bar 2L for the stopper. But there seem to be some parts without bars in them too, like first pieces. Yes, but it's got um and the thinking there is is that you can connect them. So for example, uh yeah, the first pieces, you can connect these to the bars, right? It's like so there's a you know, there's a there's a possible combination of things going on there. Yeah, because it's got a hole in the top. So there's, yeah, there's, in fact, can you even do it the other way on that one? You can, yeah, you can even do it the other way. Yeah, so it's like bars and things that connect to bars. And also, I just don't have that many of them. Therefore, you know, it makes sense. If I had like a surplus of fez pieces, then I'd probably just give it its own draw, you know, at that point. Because then it would start drowning out the other pieces. You see, there's method to my madness. Always methods. An ice cream cone with a fez, indeed. And why not? I've never never actually done that before, but I knew it was, you know. I knew what I knew what I was thinking when I when I mixed them out. Ooh. Here's another interesting combo for you. You might like this one. So it's a combo draw. 
Look at, look at what the, look at what's in there. Look at the combo. It's three pieces. It's three different kinds of pieces. And at first you might be like, why she mixed up those three different pieces? What one's is like roller skates, minifig roller skates, a gun, some kind of double-barreled gun, and binoculars. Like there's no there's no real why you, there's no rhyme or reason to that, is there? Surely. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. No, Sloth, dude. That's not it. Because I've got a whole utensil. I've got a minifig utensil. Now, oh, look, look at this. So, firstly, roller skates connect to the binoculars. Look at that. Look at that. Look at what I just did then. Many people know about that. Uh, so, yeah, that's, that's a part combination. And then binoculars connect. Look at this to the gun. So that's and that's like that's so cool for greebles and things. Hey, I got a red one. I got a red roller skate. Take out my red red roller skate. I didn't know I had that. Anyway. Aurelius says, uh, that said, the wine prices are low, quotes, enough that I won't bring the cheap cooking wine, I'll just get it up there and bring some good wine and booze instead. You know, that totally makes sense. I think you should do that. Whenever you go back to Denmark, you probably want to think about bringing more back. Like, I don't know how much, for example, I don't know how much Bailey's is in Denmark. But I, I suspect it's cheaper than here. So, um, like, if you if you wanted to bring a bottle of Bailey's, then I would not I would not stop you. Let me put it that way. Stop, dude. Technically, you could do that same thing with a modern minifig head, too. But those definitely would deserve their own box. For sure. Uh, yeah, they have used that in official sets too, have they? I wouldn't be surprised, but I don't know of it. Using it's the using the binoculars to extend the gun. Um, yeah, all right, cool. Let's see. What else is there to sort? There's a little bit more to sort. Oh, oh shit! Oh. Oh, I've got some binoculars here. So yeah, that's so that's why I've put those all together because they all kind of complement each other and fit together quite nicely in interesting ways. Some grills. Some bear grills. I just wonder if I've um, missed these off somewhere. Mm. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter, actually, it's the, it's the thing. It's not the end of the world. Where's my axles? Oh, yeah. Box of axles. So again, these are all just mixed up. There's all the different lengths of axles. Because I couldn't be bothered putting them in different drawers. Like sometimes you've just got to um, compromise a bit. Huh, okay. I don't know what that goes. Really, <laughs> right, yeah. 149 for a 70 centiliter bottle in Denmark, which is about 230 kroner. And it's 290 up in Monopoly. Thought it might be cheaper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not like it's not massively cheaper, but it's definitely cheaper. And I also wonder if that would count as wine. Like because it's not the strength of a spirit, is it? Um, it's closer in alcohol content to wine, so I think it might count as wine. But that doesn't seem unreasonable. Okay. 
Okay, that's looking a lot better. A bit dirty on the desk. They go in there. Oh, actually, that was wrong. That was wrong. It goes there. Shit. Who cares? This isn't easy. I did it. What else? What else? That's probably enough, actually. That's probably enough for now. Just clean this desk a bit. That's really gross. Ugh. Be vacuumed up. I've got a draw spur now. It's it's if I were going to Denmark anyway, I might bring a bottle. Mm -hmm. That's the sitch. Everybody says, yeah, I think it's a question of if the price, the price is just low enough. It's not worth it for people to just go to Denmark to shop for booze. It probably won't be because of the cost of the bridge and or the ferry or whatever. Yeah, yeah. But if you are doing it anyway, then it prob then it does make sense. If you're, you know, if you're making that journey anyway, you have to for, for other reasons, then then it totally makes sense to grab some some booze. Yes, indeedy. Um, if you've got the, you know, the baggage availability as well. So now, God, that's good. Wow, that is so good. That is good. That, that is really good. Mm. Oh, I'm just going to show you again because it's so good. But I don't want to spin out. OG Blade Runner Spinner and it's um it's got some fantastic details there. When I've when I've coloured it, when I've got it all the right colours, it's gonna under stickers, it's just gonna look mint, right? So I'm really excited to do this. So let's get on this, let's get on this task. Let's uh let's start this task. Because it's an important one. Good and it's very good. Thank you, Bricks. So studio should be well the studio is open, but I'll probably need to open it and close it again. Yeah, yeah. Thought so. It would be nice if that just worked. But it doesn't. There we go. So yeah, I need to do a few things. As I've previously mentioned, Brick Link, sorry not Brick Link, Studio does not have the correct piece for the windscreen yet, so I've used the closest available piece that it does have. It's um, a similar footprint, but the, the new, the, the proper piece is just so much better and it's perfect and it's actually the inspiration for this model. As soon as I saw that piece, I was like, yeah, I need to make the spinner, I need to do it. I've done it a few times in the past, but as soon as I saw that this piece was available on the rescue helicopter, which is a new set, came out last month or something. Um, I knew that this was the one. This was the one I was going to tackle. Ideally, it'd be dark. It'd be like a dark windscreen. It'd be like trans black or trans brown or whatever. But, but blue works. Blue's fine. Softly says, I did slightly prefer the original door design with the sloped bricks because those closed the gaps better. But if that design didn't work as well, so there was advantages and disadvantages to, to that design. Um, and and yeah, and so so on this on this one, it's like this. It's the gap is more obvious, but again, that's mostly because of the cockpit's not the, quite the same. So in the physical one, let me just. I'll go back to the physical one because that's the one we really should be talking about. There isn't a huge gap. Like there's a bit of a gap, but it's less than on the digital model. Yeah, it's not a massive gap, and I'm pretty I'm I'm happy with it. The reason that I changed it was because from certain angles, for example, like this, it really stuck out. So on the on the other side of the windscreen, 
you could see this really big raised up thing and it just spoiled the silhouette of these kinds of angles. You know, the side that's closest to me, it just looked real chunky and I wasn't a huge fan. So I wanted to try to make it a bit more flush and that's why I decided up ultimately on the, uh, on the wedge plate. If there was a wedge plate that had a curve, uh, that would be awesome, but there's not. So this is this was the compromise, but also the doors open real nice as well. Yeah. Um, in fact, maybe I've got the original which had that. So, so yeah, if we just have a look in the studio one, just to bring it home. So, what I'm talking about is here, yeah? And the silhouette is, is, is clean from this point, of, from this angle, from this point of view. The doors don't stick out too far. Uh, if I open my original, which I believe still has those, those weird doors. Yeah, it does, yeah. Um, I mean, this is a bit of a work in progress, but it doesn't matter. And if we go to here, then it, it, it just sticks right out there, you know? Also, there was another reason that I just remembered. And that reason was that in the new one, I got this whole tile, this whole two by four tile to put stickers on, which is, which is cool, you know, uh, whereas the other one didn't have too much real estate for stickers. So I'm hoping that that's going to work out better too. <sighs> okay. Just was hit by a wave of nausea then. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, more water. Okay. It's because I was constant I was like looking down and concentrating and something just hit me. Ugh, right in the face. It's not very nice. Shouldn't hit a lady. Oh god, yeah, that's a thought. I'm, I, yeah, I know. So the interior of the digital model here is dark grey, and my physical one is light grey. And I do prefer the, uh, I do prefer the dark grey actually. Hmm. It doesn't matter, it's just a recurve. So let's, um, so it's mostly the rear, I think. It's mostly this rear rear area which I've, which I've changed. So I'm gonna need to um, get to it. So let's just hide a bunch of stuff. That's still the same, yep, cool. So these are all different. This is, this is different as well now. The way I've done this, I'm so happy with the way I figured this one out. It's quite intricate and quite, it's quite a lot going on just to get, just to get the perfect angle and just to get the perfect kind of getting it flush and things. That's what I was working on this morning. Another reason why I was late streaming actually, because I just got too much into my Lego. Far too much into my Lego. Let's take that out. Yeah, that's all different now, isn't it? It's gone. And the way I'm attaching this um, antenna thing at the top, that's all changed as well. I was attaching it from the front and coming down, and now I've changed that. That's wrong.
So I've actually, yeah, I've got rid of those. Yeah, I don't use those anymore. Replaced for just another one of those. I think I put it there. Yes, I did. Oh yeah, I remember now. And I also moved this back, actually. So let's um, move these out of the way. Put this on. Mm. Come on, let me put it on. There, that's where it goes, I think. My Acquired Storm. Hello, My Acquired Storm. How are you doing? Is that a new username that I see before me? I haven't seen you for a while. It's nice to see you. <laughs> so let me just delete that. I don't want to have to, so I'm just going to mirror it, you know, so I don't need to do everything all over again. How's life treating you, Maya? Hope it's been kind. It'd be nice if life was treating you kind, honestly. Because it doesn't treat it doesn't treat enough people kindly. Doesn't seem to anyway. Okay, I remember I put a grey plate there. Actually, I don't know if it was grey, but I'll use grey. Well, you know what I do sometimes if I just check the colour to see the cheapest one. In this case, the cheapest orange, the cheapest plate, the cheapest 2 by 3 plate is orange. So I'm just going to go for it because it's hidden. No one will ever see it. And that just lowers the cost of the model for people who want to need, need to buy it. Can't use that piece anymore. Yeah. Good. And basically, those two, those side panels are just held on by these two, these two some um, bricks now with studs on side. And they don't need to be held on by anymore. Honestly, that's like that's enough. That's fine. Ooh, where is it? Where'd it go? Oh, I must have hidden it. Right, I, I hid it. Yeah. <laughs> it's scared then. I thought I deleted it. Yeah, those two pieces, they're upside down relative to each other. And what they do is they actually add strength. So, so this one is, um, so because there's a panel, because there's a, you know, there's, there's panels and they're being held together. Then he basically strengthens it, so strengthens this side and strengthens this side, um, you know. And it's it's all that's needed, really. Just two studs to hold those panels on. That's that's fine. You don't need more than that. You've been busy. It's good to hear. It's good to be busy. Busy good, I hope. Not busy bad, but busy good. Okay, so what's going on? Um, do I need to take this out just to confirm some stuff? I think I do, don't I? Let's take that out. Look at that, a whole section comes out. Mm. This, this whole this whole bit comes out. 
it's good. Okay, yeah, that works. Cool. Let's put this in then. Oh, I remember what I did. Oh, that's, yeah, that's really clever. <laughs> oh, that's so clever. Hello, Dougie. Have you come to see the cleverness? Yes, you have. Big fan. So I need a modified plate. And it's um, four by two. Hmm, what's that? That's the one. Goes like that. Good. Right, I think I put some little studs there as well, actually, didn't I? Yeah, play round. You got a white. I think I've used them um, for every one by one stud. That's just separate, that is. I've used, uh, I've used white ones, just so people don't need to get different colours. Uh, check it. Maybe you can see already what I've done. It's, it's very clear. Can I put these on there? Put this back on. Oh, what have you done there? Dumbass. Cool. Right, now I'm gonna build the um the things that hook into these little clips so let's um let's release that because i'm not using it and i'm going to put this in good it's my collision on it's not is it collision's not on but that's nice come Now it's bracket time. Actually, I need to turn this. Bracket. There we go. So that was the solution that I came up with. And I'm very, very happy with it, honestly. Hmm, there's nothing in there. I need more, I need more drink. Cheers. Thank you. Clever girl. I was trying it with just a standard hinge, you know, brick thing. Like a standard, um, that with the brick connector at the bottom. And, um, I just couldn't get the, I just couldn't get it in the right place. Okay, you know, I was trying, trying my bestest, but it, it was always, it was always, didn't really fit flush you know it just didn't fit flush it was always sticking out a bit too much wasn't quite at the right angle bunch of things basically this enabled me to get it just the right angle and i think i used yes i did are you sorry then i used um a slope like a slope curved one by two there we go it's for strength, because I do think about strength sometimes. I know it's dark. Great. 
Cool. And now these bits. Yeah. Okay. Actually, yeah. So this is the one I was trying to use before. Just couldn't get it. Just couldn't get it working. So let's release that. And get rid of the things I don't need. And then I'll put these back on. Good. And I think I'm going to make that into a sub object right away because it makes sense, doesn't it? And she's too. I'm so fucking hungry, Bill. I'm so hungry. I never knew anyone would be so hungry. It's a very silly place for that, honestly. I don't know why I put it there. It shouldn't be there, should it? Let's see. Um, I'm going to sort that out now. Where is it? Trigger fire. Yeah, trigger fire. That trigger fire should not be there. Let's put it... Whoa. Slow down. Yeah, so yeah, munchies. Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, I literally don't have anything left because I've eaten all the good stuff. All I've got is this. <laughs> this is the only thing I've got munchie-wise. So I'm going to do it because I love you. But you know what? I might bring some of these for you already. Do you want to try some of these? Would you like me to bring some for you? Okay, I will then. I will. It's a love, honestly though, it's a love-hate relationship that I have with these. Because I just can't figure out if I like them. I've had a lot of them and I still can't figure it out. I think it's one of those things where you kind of, once you've got to like the third or the fourth, you're like, yeah, actually, yeah, these are okay. But the first one's always a bit, you know. Like, what the fuck is in my mouth right now? Right, gonna recreate this now. Digital style. Well, actually, I'm going to mirror that as well. So, yeah, I think I do actually quite like them. I seem to be eating them, so I don't know what else I can... I don't know what other conclusion to draw from that. I mean, it's chocolate, isn't it? Fairly interesting stuff going on here as well. Can I get? Can I get a brick modified two by one? Studs on both sides. I know I can't get in dark blue. Can I get in dark grey? Hmm. Lucky scores now following us. Thank you, lucky score. 
very subtle, that little dinosaur down there, isn't it? It's, all my other stuff is really big, but that one's quite subtle. Maybe I should make it bigger. Hmm, cool. This, oh, is that the right one? I've got sound alerts and I've got alerts. I don't know which one's what, honestly. That's fine. Okay. Uh, yes, so I can get this in dark grey. That's good. That means I will use it. Oh, no, hold on. No, I can't. There's an exclamation mark next to it. Uh, that's what I was afraid of. Okay, so it does make sense to go for dark grey with a one by one brick. Studs on both sides. Which is basically what I used here. Dark grey, you can get that obviously. I, can, I know you can because I'm looking at it. Modified with a stud in the middle. Ooh, is that not tile modified? It's not, is it? It's play modified, okay. Yep, that's the one. This will fit nicely there. That's in dark grey too. Now some clips. Um, this one is a time I find. Right, what is this? It's a handlebar, isn't it? Handlebar. Yes, it is. Handlebar. And that goes in there. black. I'm just going to recolor these black now actually. Good. Um, I guess I should just recolor that black too, thinking about it. You can't get clips like that in dark blue, unfortunately. I wish you could, but you can't. So, that's not an option, is it? Let's face it. Okay, it's uh, lights time. There's the blues, blues in the middle, reds on the outside. Don't need those anymore. I do, I think I need, I think I need more lights though, is the interesting thing here. I don't really know how to achieve that. Hmm. Doesn't matter. So that's a uh, sub model. We'll copy and mirror it, put it on the other side. Looking good. Oh, mm, yeah, maybe I spoke too soon. I actually need to hinge that slightly. So let's hinge it. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm gonna say something like that. Now I'll copy mirror. Perfect. No, not quite. Perfect. Yep. That's the that's the light cluster. For now. I I I am considering adding some more lights, honestly, but but let's let's see. Let's see what where we got when we put this on. I have the handlebar right there. We'll create a sub object for this. And this should just go straight in. Come on. Hmm. Okay, hold on a second. Need some more plates. Um, oh, it's uh, nine when it does this. There, there it is. Got it. Tell me I've got collision issues. And then I sort of believe it actually. Well I don't know actually no the thing is I actually don't believe it because not according to the physical model that I'm looking at right now that's in my hand. Hmm. Frida Shosh. I can see where it's colliding. It's possible that this isn't at like quite the right angle. Thinking about it. Let's just unhide everything. It's possible that could be rotated more. Oh, it doesn't want to be though. See, this is the difference between real life and studio. So always the collision. So I'm going to take that off. That looks it's really hard to say actually, but I think it's better. Uh, there. Still says there's intersections on those handlebars. So fine, I'll just I'll just move it up. I know it's not, but it's it doesn't matter. Good. The only thing in sight to now is the windscreen, and that's okay as well because that's not the right windscreen. The real windscreen does not intersect. But it's annoying, so I'm just gonna leave collision off for now. Yeah, it doesn't look like they do though, not on mine. Not on the physical, you know? So, it's a similar situation for the bumper actually, Slop, in that the bumper, like there's some really clear obvious intersections going on there. And the reality is that it, it just doesn't, it doesn't intersect at all, it looks real nice, so. It's, you know, it's studio, in it? Okay, so that's, uh, I think that's pretty much done, actually. Let's just double check. Yeah, that's on. Hmm. I think that should be dark. Oh, I can't. Hmm. Can you get dark? Hmm. Can you? Okay, let's have a look at this. Can I get a dark blue 2x3 is the question. The answer is yes. I think I probably should. New follower, Akuluz. Hello, Akuluz. And um, I made it bigger, so it's a bit more obvious to everyone. 
Thanks for the follow. I hope you're having a fantastic Sunday. Cool. Uh, so let's go back to the main model and put that back on. Good. And I'll do the same for... I'll do the same for this side. That's just the dark blue. Good. I want to save that because that is looking good. That is looking really good. Hey, Achilles. <laughs> nice emoji. What is that rolly thing? That's funny. Bagel. Very good. Let's see if I can get this back together again now. Physical one. Um, that's not on. Come on. There, that's that's on. Another point of strength. You see inside there, those two studs there in the middle, green and the dark grey. Perfect. Perfect positioning for a one by three plate to just connect those together. And because it's holding them in like that, it's just it's just strength again. And and coolness. Strength and coolness, both at the same time. How about that? Although I've used dark brown. I've used no not dark brown, I've used brown for this, and I've used dark grey for the model. I think dark grey is actually the correct colour. Oh, okay, I'm going to take that back out again and just recolor it here. It's cute, isn't it, really? It's really cute. Oh. Here comes the sun. It's a funny day today, actually. It's kind of grey, but the sun's... It's very light clouds. Like the sun kind of bursts through them. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I'm just wondering if there's a way to find out if any of these pieces are incorrectly coloured. Is there a way to do that? I can't remember. Is there like a like errors on the model or something? Model info. This is all the different pieces. So the total parts, 348, which is actually not that many, is it? 348. That's less than, um, for example, it's less than the Dark Horse. I think. Oh, wait a minute, what's the Dark Horse? It does not yet. What's the what's the model number? What's the what's the model number? There you go. Three four four. Alright, three, so 344 pieces for the Dark Horse. For my spinner, it's um, 
348. Oh, okay. My spin is four pieces more than Dadajos. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's good. That's fine. If I just look down here, hopefully, if I scroll, it should tell me if any other pieces are not available in the color that I need it to be. Hoping it'll. Come on, scroll. Oh, Jesus, come on. It doesn't want to scroll on the mouse wheel, so. God, the scrolling is so broken. Oh, that's really broken. Studio. I bet this works on, an, on a Windows machine. Keep going. There, that's it. Good. And I mean, I couldn't see any any issues. Hopefully, that means there aren't any. But um, you'll be quite surprised on the price. Actually, the price is high. It says the total cost to buy this. Is a hundred and seven dollars fifty one cents that's a lot of money I'm just wondering what my really expensive pieces are if I scroll back to the top whoa brick modified headlight four of those they're eight dollars each Wow <laughs> it's love dude time to go do other stuff have fun in Oslo bye bye stuff dude Right, that's ridiculous. The brick modified one by one with head headlight brick in dark blue. It says they're eight dollars each. That can't be right. That cannot be right. I refuse to believe it. Come on. Eight dollars each? No. Yeah, I think you might, might be right because that's probably the better way to do it, isn't it? Because I don't trust that. I don't trust that at all, quite honestly. Hmm. Right. Um. Yeah, it will be. It will be chilly because sometimes people put stupid prices on, and then it just bumps up the average price because it takes the average price doesn't it and so if someone's put a stupid price lot on there it's like a million dollars and suddenly you're looking at it and it's like well why is this so expensive hey Dougie. hello hello yeah that's okay rex had to have a good sleep you head to bed bye oh this sun's getting me now sun i mean it makes me look good but it's it's annoying. <laughs> I, I kind of feel like I need to recolor some of the inside now on my physical one. Because I don't have these pieces. Because I need to know what I need to order, you know, for myself. So, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. I'm going to try and recolor it as, as dark grey as possible. I don't think there's going to be, um, it's probably not going to be that much different. Ah. How do I get it out? Not like that. There we go. Just broke it up. Kaleidia, hello. Nice to see you. In my chat. Claudia says, hi, how are you all today? Hope you are fine. I am very fine, thank you. How are you? You having a nice Sunday? Just um, finishing off my spinner. Just doing a slight bit of recoloring the physical. And then I'm going to try and figure out what pieces I need to order from Brickling. Put a wish list together. Or part, sorry, a part list, wish list, whatever it's called. I don't have any dark grey. I
Yeah, that's that's good. Yeah. Ooh, that's dark as well. Okay, that's dark brown. Hmm. Just had a nice role play session and now Indian food. So yay. Oh my God, Indian food. That's my favorite kind of food. You're having a good Sunday, aren't you? Golly gosh. That's strange. This doesn't match up. And I see why, I see why. Yeah, okay. Okay. I think I'm gonna go with what I've got here, actually, in the physical rather than this digital version. I think it's a bit better. So. That's a two by one. Yeah, instead it should be a one by one. And instead of that slope, I'll put a little panel there. Now this little corner panel. Which I really like. I really like this corner panel. That goes there. And that's in dark grey. Yeah, that works better, I think. Good. We should go for Indian on Thursday. Maybe we should, actually. Maybe we should have earlier, yeah. Like that one that we went to, very central, wasn't it? But our but presumably not the best one you can find, right? I'm, I'm, there's got to be better ones. Maybe, because it doesn't have to be so central, I'm thinking. We could go slightly off the beaten track a little bit. Maybe get a more a better value. There's a place near the cinema. Oh, well, perfect. Actually, speaking of which, where is it? I don't know where the cinema is. Don't tell me, because I don't want to be... Um... <laughs> We're going to an undisclosed, lo undisclosed location to go... Watch Dune 2 next week. And this goes. It's a private shit. It's a private viewing. Shh! Don't dox us already. Uh. Okay, so. So. Yeah, well that needs to be dark grey. Hmm, it's gonna be a bit of a mess mishmash. Mishmash? Yeah, that's a word. Hmm. Oh wow, really? That's not far at all, is it? That's cool. What's that from? Oh, it's falling off the back here. Yeah. That's actually probably the weakest piece, honestly. Uh, sometimes you just can't do anything about that. It's got to be weak. There's, there's literally nothing to be done about it. It's just the way it is. Okay. Do I have any better control panels for this? I think I would do, but I just don't know. Maybe not. I don't know. It's 
something to buy. Ah, John says I could I could so go for some butter chicken right now. I could always go for butter chicken. Literally, there is no time of the day. There's no day of the month. There's no month of the year which I could not go for butter chicken. Or indeed, most other Indian food. I bloody love it. I bloody love it, me. And I make a mean Indian. It really is good. Can I get a sample of that? For herself soon. You excited? You should be. Whoa, let's see. Where's I don't know any dark grey ones, unbelievable. Ooh. It's very annoying. Okay, this is definitely gonna be looking worse before it looks better. That's a broken panel. Water! 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 Wait a second, what have I done? Oh shit. I've completely lost the blood, is what I've done. No, no, that's no, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I got it. I got it. I got it. So like that, and like that. What? That's not right. I fucked it. I fucked it up. Shit. Oh my god. That's like that. And that's like that. Yeah, yeah, okay, I get it. I think. How is that working? Well, it's not, basically. It's not working. Yeah. Yoda the bird has followed me. Thank you, Yoda. <laughs> How are we today? This don't make no sense. Right. I appear to have really fucked it up, as they say in in the business. That's like that. Yes. And this has no one by one plate. No sorry. That's a bracket. There you go. Same as that side. That's better. Not sure what I was doing there. <sighs> Later thousand. Bye. Kalidia says, wait, you moved already, must have missed it. We have not moved. No, we've not moved, Kalidia. I'm still here, same place. Um, but we are gonna just we're gonna go visit Oslo. You know, I'm going tomorrow morning. Already is coming the day after. We are we are gonna look at places. We're gonna have a you know, we're gonna look at some apartments, you know, in person, physically. And then we're gonna hopefully be able to, you know, take one on, whatever you call it. I don't even know what you call it anymore. Take one on. That's not quite something. The deposit's the tricky part, right? The deposit's a bit tricky, but if we can figure that out. I'm sort of hopeful that we can. It's possible, Aurelia, that I might be able to put in 
more than my share of the deposits if you can owe me. I guess that'll get us in there a bit quicker, won't it? Which is ultimately a good thing. Yeah. It's possible. I, have to, I mean, we'll have to see what the deposit is, obviously. Oh, shit, fuck. <laughs> My Lego just exploded. Fantastic. I hate it when it does that. I hate it when my Lego just explodes. I can't figure it out. There you go. Yeah. Wow, this is a complex piece of machinery. It really is. <laughs> There's a bunch of interconnecting interlocking pieces here, that's for sure. I'm going to stay like that. It's just ridiculous what's going on there, honestly. Absolutely ridiculous. Dense. That's me. No, that's the sorry, that's the Lego. <laughs> okay, then that connects there. I think I've recolored as much as I can. It's not brilliant, but it's you know, it's better than it better than it was. Because now I can now I've got a better I can figure out what I need to order better now. This just goes on the top. Come on, on the top. Open it. Yep. I'm trying to lighten things a bit so I at least have some to put in initially. That would be great. Maybe sell all your stocks and shares. Sell your various companies. Liquidate your assets. eBay, your antique antique collection of porcelain dolls. Maybe have a quick look in the attic, see if you've got any priceless heirlooms. I had a quick look and we had several, so that was quite useful. <sighs> Not really. So yeah, okay, so I've recolored the um I've recolored the interior. It's looking even more shonky now because it's a mixture of grey, dark grey and light grey. But um it, that's helpful for me now because I can um I can more easily identify what I need to order. So that's good. I've done that. Let's go on to the next stage, which is <laughs> the next stage, I think, what I'm probably going to do, oh, teaching, teaching his daughter to ride a bike. I remember that, those times. Oh, that was a big whine. That was a big moan. Wasn't it, Frida? 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 Frida, come here. You can't just do a big moan like that and not come in. You can't just do a big moaning outside. You got to come in and grace us with your presence now. Yes, you do. Oh, I'm gonna miss the dog. I'm gonna miss the dog. That's for sure. I'm not gonna miss the kids or my partner. I'm gonna miss the dog. You show your museum. None of that's true. Obviously, I'm gonna miss them terribly. Right. So before we go on to the next stage of the the model of the the spinner i think it might be time for a little for a little interlude a brief little interlude interlude it's the moment you've all been waiting for 
With bated breath, I know you've been looking forward to this but point of the day. Oh, I know you have. I know you have. Don't try and convince me otherwise. I'm not buying it. Sorry. My viewing, my viewing figures, when I read this book, my viewing figures go through the roof. Through the roof. It's like double, triple, quadruple even. Or was that a dream I had? That could have, but that could have been a dream I had, actually. This this probably loses viewers. But I'm going to read it anyway, because I hate you so much. The last chapter was called Just Doodling. Uh, this is The Boy in the Dress. It's a terrible, terrible book. It's by David Walliams. A well-renowned author and, um, you know, trans, trans whisperer. Because even though, even though he's not trans... He does like to whisper at trans people and it's pretty freaky actually he kind of just slides up to you and goes Psst, in your ear and it's like jesus fucking get away from me you creep um so i don't know why he does that but that's that's what he does david Wines. but i think he thinks that he knows what it's like to be trans which is kind of strange but that's like that's what i'm going for. so he's just you know we're getting the David Williams interpretation of what it's like to be a trans a, a trans girl here in this book. It's it's an interesting insight into a depraved and creepy mind. <laughs> we got a prediction, as always. Thank you, mods. The boy in the dress prediction. What's gonna happen? Nothing happens, or ah, bad things happen. This is. This is a prediction that you can waste, I mean, spend wisely your channel points on. I think, um, I think everyone, it, it makes it sort of fun now, doesn't it? I wish I could join in, I just can't. I don't think, or maybe I can, but I just, there's no point because I've got infinite channel points. I don't need any more. <laughs> it's my channel. <laughs> Storage says, oh, I'm sorry, I'm washing my hair right now. Storage, you don't have any hair. Don't be, don't lie. I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Do you? I don't. I don't think so. Nothing. Not none that matters. Or really, or really, also, what the heck happened on Twitter with the recent and sudden explosion of weird takes? I don't know. I've seen some weird takes recently. Have you seen some weird takes? I've seen some weird takes. One of them I really didn't agree with, but they, but they turned the replies off. I think it was trans or non-binary person called Felix, and. They started laying into an, al an ally, cis ally, who's getting a lot of flack from transphobes at the moment because they're all accusing him of being a woman. Be you know, that's what they do. He's not. He's a cis guy, but he's, a, but he's an ally. And so they're all accusing him of being a woman. It it's so funny to watch. He's like, for him, it's just um, water off a duck's back because it, it, he doesn't. He's like, this is just hilarious. What the hell's going on? And he, I think he's doing um I think he's doing a decent service, you know, by by picking up by by being a basically a good ally and trying to highlight the hypocrisy and ridiculousness and basic evilness of, you know, gender critical the gender critical cult minority of people who hate trans people and then try and retroactively justify it by, you know, trying to make it sound reasonable. They never succeed, of course. Anyway, I just thought that that was a terrible take. It's like, why? Are you, what are you doing? It's like, it's like, you know, don't attack our allies. We have precious few enough as it is. Why don't we just, you know, let let them be allies and not criticize them? Was my was my point of view, but of course I couldn't say that because they um turned off replies. <sighs> and then there's a bunch of others as well. There's the whole um, there's the whole uh, what's his face, her face, Finster. There's the whole Finster thing, which a lot of people are very excited about. I, I'm not excited about Finster, never have been, and I, you know, I'm like, I just wish him or her the best of luck, whatever they want to do. But um, I do feel they're a little bit clickbaity, and you know, that's how they've made a lot of money. And Finster's been really good and donated a lot of it to trans charities. But it feels a little bit cynical and kind of gaming the system, as far as I'm concerned. It's like fine. Like, it's sort of obvious that you've been on HRT for a while. No one's, like, you know, he announced or she announced. He says, he says that any, any pronouns are fine. I think we talked about that as well recently. Any pronouns are fine. Right, but why don't you just go for she, her, because you're on HRT and you're saying you're a trans woman. And, like, 
You should. So my prediction. Do you want to know what my prediction is? Within the next six months, Finster's going to be like, actually, I am she, her. It's like, and everyone's going to be like, uh, yeah, we know. And again, it's like, it's almost like, it's almost like it's a game. Did you see the guy who claims that women are chimeric shapeshifters? It goes, well, was that the Joe Rogan? Was that the Joe Rogan thing podcast? And he would say, were we demons or Baphomet's health spawn or something like that? Um, you know, which is actually true. I'm kind of surprised that it took them that long to kind of come figure it out. But, um, you know, shit. Game's up, girls and boys. <sighs> Forever in a moment is what this is called. Forever and a moment. Are we sitting comfortably? Then I shall begin. <laughs> this is going to be shit. At 10.59am, Dennis was waiting outside Lisa's house. Right, because he's got a date with Lisa, the hot girl from the school. Woo! Story says, I'm not comfortable. Good. Um, John O'Neill says, not even. Oh, different one. It was based on some kind of quack, quack DNA absorption theory. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, yeah, because... Uh, because basic human biology, as in, you know, the effect of hormones on the human, on the human body, that's, 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 that's definitely not a thing. But quack DNA absorption theory, that's probably what it is. Anyway, she said, she said, she had said 11 o'clock, but he didn't want to seem too keen. So he waited for his watch to count the seconds until 11. 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 00. He pressed the bell. Down, dead on 11, man. The faint sound of Lisa's voice floated down the stairs, and the blurry vision of her through the glass of the door was enough to make his heart beat faster. Hey, she said, smiling. Hey, he said back. Not that he'd ever said hey to anyone before, but he wanted to be like Lisa. Come in, she said, and he followed her into the house. It was very similar to the one Dennis lived in, but where his was gloomy, Lisa's was full of light and colour. There were paintings and family pictures haphazardly arranged on the walls. A sweet smell of freshly baked cake lingered in the hall. Do you want a drink? Jesus. A glass of white wine, perhaps, said Dennis, trying to act three times his age. Lisa looked up amused for a moment. I don't have any wine. What else do you like? Um, bongo? Lisa raised her eyebrows. I think we've got some um, bongo. What the fuck is um, bongo? She found a carton and poured a couple of glasses. Then they went upstairs to her room. Dennis instantly adored it. In truth, it was how he would like his room to be. She had pictures from fashion magazines all over the walls. Stylish shot. <coughs> stylish, excuse me. <clears throat> stylish shots of beautiful women in glamorous locations. On the shelves were books about fashion or film stars like Audrey Hepburn or Marilyn Monroe. A sewing machine sat in the corner of the room and she had a big pile of Vogue's by the bed. Ah, big pile. Of them. I'm collecting them, she said. I've got an Italian one too. It's hard to get here, but it's amazing. The best Vogue is Italian. Heavy though. Would you like to see it? I'd love to, said Dennis. He'd had no idea there were different vogues around the world. On the roll. <laughs> they sat on her bed together, slowly turning the pages. The first shoot was in colour, but featured dresses that were only black or white, or a combination of the two. Wow, that dress is gorgeous, said Dennis. Chanel, it's probably madly expensive, but it is beautiful. I love the sequins. And that slit up the side, said Lisa. She traced her fingers lovingly, no, longingly, along the page. What seemed like forever and a moment went by as they studied every page, discussing each detail of every dress. When they reached the end, they felt like they'd been friends forever. Lisa pulled out another magazine to show him one of her favourite shoots, or stories, as she called them. It was from an old British Vogue and featured lots of models in wigs and metallic dresses. It looked like a scene from an old science fiction film. Dennis loved the extravagance of these fantasies, so different from the grey, cold reality of his own life. You'd look stunning in that gold dress, said Dennis, pointing to a girl with similar hair colouring to Lisa. Anyone would. It's an amazing dress. 
I could never afford any of these, but I like to look at these pictures and get ideas for my own designs. Do you want to see? Oh, yeah, replied Dennis excitedly. Lisa pulled a large scrapbook from her shelf. It was full of brilliant illustrations she had drawn of skirts and blouses and dresses and hats. Next to these, Lisa had stuck lots of things onto the page, strips of glittering fabric, cut-out photographs of film costumes, even buttons. Dennis stopped Lisa turning the page at an especially gorgeous drawing she had done of an orange sequin dress. That one is beautiful, he said. Thanks, Dennis. I'm really pleased with it. I'm making it right now. Really? Can I see? Of course. She reached into her cupboard and pulled out the half-finished dress. I got this material really cheap. It was just from down the market, she said. But I think it's going to look really good. It's a little bit 1970s, I think. Very glamorous. She held up the dress by its hanger. Although it was still cut a little rough, roughly around the edges and had a few loose threads, it was covered in hundreds of little round sequins and twinkled effortlessly in the morning sunlight. It's amazing, said Dennis. It would look good on you, said Lisa. Whoa! Stop the press. What? <laughs> she laughed and held the dress next to Dennis. <gasps> he laughed too and then looked down at it, allowing himself to imagine for a moment what he would look like wearing it, but then told himself to stop being silly. It's really beautiful, he said. It's not fair though, is it? I mean, boys clubs are so boring. Well, I think all those rules are boring about what people can and can't wear. Surely everyone should be able to wear whatever they like. Yes, I suppose they should, said Dennis. He had never really been encouraged to think like this before. She was right. What was wrong with wearing the things he liked? Why don't you put it on? asked Lisa, with a cheeky smile. There was silence for a moment. Maybe that's a crazy idea, Lisa said, backtracking as she sensed Dennis's awkwardness. But dresses can be beautiful, and dressing up is fun. I love putting on pretty dresses. I bet boys would like it too. It's no big deal. Dennis's heart was beating really fast. He wanted to say yes, but he couldn't. He just couldn't. This was all a bit much. I've got to go, he snapped. Really? asked Lisa, disappointed. Yes, I'm sorry, Lisa. Well, will you come and visit me again? Today has been really fun. The next issue of Vogue is out next week. Why don't you come over next Saturday? I don't know, said Dennis as he rushed out of the house, but thanks again for the umbongo. What a scary cat. That was, uh, that was, um, that was a good one. I think that was kind of a good, good chapter. Better than some of the others. What do we think? What's the verdict in the chat? I always enjoy finding out what you think of it. I'm sort of concentrating on, um, you know, trying to read it and not screw up the words. And so, I don't know, you probably get a better idea of it than me, quite honestly. Really, uh, Finn has, if I recall correctly, said they aren't a trans sources person. What? So, yeah, but also the thing with Finn is originally his viewers were the ones uh, that pulled them into the whole thing with some challenge. It may seem a bit exploitative that they're doing it if they aren't, but on the other hand, they've just been rolling with it until recently, and at least they're not being an ass about it. End of the day, they're harmless. I think they are probably harmless. I think you're right. And any any harm, any harm that is sort of being done is only mild compared to the good that Finster has done. You know, so I am pro Finster on the whole, but that doesn't necessarily mean that, I mean, I just guess I don't care that much. I just don't care enough. And a lot of people seem to really care about these things. And I'm like, again, I'm like, it's, you know, it's fine. I don't care. <laughs> Storage, why wine? Gosh, he really doesn't get need to come out. He doesn't need to go. I just thought that was the funniest part of I should have said it better, but never mind. I don't know what Umbongo is. They drink it in the Congo. <laughs> I miss one chapter and genuinely cannot imagine how we swiveled from hetero boy misery to cake scented dress fancy release. Did you miss the last one? They got detention together and um, and then um, and Lisa invited him back to hers on the, on the next day. And Lisa's hot. 
Not gonna lie, boys' clothes are so, bo so boring, has been a mood for as long as I had agency over what clothes I got. I think we can all agree that, as a trans one for sure, we uh, we look at boys' clothes and think, oh, these are fucking boring. But, you know, like seriously. And I totally relate. I totally relate to that aspect of, um, of Dennis, you know. I think that that's sort of interesting. Like David Williams, yes, he's a twat, but he's not got everything wrong, let's face it. So Aurelia says that was definitely not nothing happened. Now I think something happened, but it, but also he chickened out. It would, it's like that wasn't the bit where he wears the dress. Maybe he never will wear the dress. Maybe it's still going to be a book that he never wears the dress. But you know, uh, we'll see. <laughs> that would be sort of funny. <laughs> the boy in the dress. He never wears the dress. <laughs> Only in his mind. So uh, was Amy a random thirty-five-year-old woman who immediately knew he was into dresses? <laughs> no, this is no, this is one of his um, schoolmates. What? I can't remember. I think he I think he complimented her on her drawing. She was drawing when they were in detention and he said, hey, that's a really cool drawing. And she was drawing the dresses. She's, she's like, she draws her own fashion stuff. And so they got talking from there and they were talking on the way home as well. Yeah. Yeah, it kind of wasn't bad things happened either. Oh, my God. So actually the um, the prediction of the poll, no one wins. I get all the points. Yay. <laughs> Claudia, who are we talking about? We were talking about Finster. We were talking about Finster. He's a very popular, he or she is a very popular streamer. I don't know what the channel is called, but you know, millions and millions of people watch him. Her. Him or her? I don't know. He doesn't know. She doesn't know. <laughs> John says, I'm a guy. And I think most boys' clothes are pretty boring in comparison. It's kind of just, it's sort of true, isn't it? It's just objectively sort of true because... Like, boys' clothes don't have sequins. Um, boys de tend to not wear as much, you know, sparkly jewellery that attaches, like, you know, you can attach Lego to. Um, they don't have, they don't have quite as many kind of possibilities as far as, like, check, I mean, just me, just me right now. This has got like a kind of a little flower thing. Can't really see it very well, but it's got like a little flower thing. Boys don't get those. The <laughs> Boys aren't allowed to have those. This is this strap kind of got a little... Yeah, the strap. Hold on. It's got strings on the back, you know? Boys' clothes don't have that. It's just, you're not allowed to have that as a boy. You're just not allowed. You get beaten up. You know, so it's... <laughs> People would spit at you in the street. <laughs> Probably would as well in some places. Obviously, they shouldn't. Pockets. Think about Pockets. Right, okay, I'm thinking about pockets. Check this out, check it out. I'm even gonna put something in it, look, look. <gasps> Whoa! Like, look, watch, hands are empty. Hands have Lego in. That's called, that's called storage pockets. Not storage heaters, but storage pockets. And this, this has it. So yes, on the whole, <coughs> yeah, we are lacking in pockets. It's annoying. Because most, well, a lot of women's clothes, they don't have pockets. Jeans, you know, skirts, they just don't put pockets in it a lot of the time. But when you do get pockets, it's like, oh yeah, this is great. John, the only boys' clothes that have sequins are either worn by aristocrats or pirates. And there's nothing stopping you from being either of those. Well, actually, I guess you can't really be an aristocrat. And also, it's difficult to be a pirate nowadays in this economy. So, it's, I mean, you've got to get a boat first. That's not an easy, that's not an easy task. Maybe you can be a different kind of pirate. Arr! Storage says she doesn't need buckets. The cl she clips everything she needs to her ears. <laughs> I don't wear these earrings all the time, you know. Although maybe I should. It's not a terrible idea. Maybe I could clip my iPhone. Maybe I could create a, like an iPhone holder thing and then just clip my iPhone to my to my earring. That's that's ridiculous. That's not going to work. But you know, that's an option. Kaladia says one in one in my. One, one in my three skirts has pockets. So you've got three skirts and one of them has pockets. 
Yeah, I mean, that's actually pretty good going, honestly. I don't think that's the ratio. That's not the average ratio. I would say the average ratio is probably more like 1 in 10, if that. Right, I'm going to go on a little break. Uh, just to, you know, get over that chapter, because it really... Uh, I got a bit too excited. I'm, <laughs> so I'm going to, I'm going to, you know, towel myself down. And then I'll come back and I'll carry on with the Blade Runner car. See you soon. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> was that... That was a good impression of Eddie Redmayne but it's been a transform. Did you see that? Did you see my impression? It's like this. It's like this. It's like that. <laughs> yeah, I know. But, you know, as long as you gave him his little stool, you know, as long as you always film from, like, his... Like, you know, from this high up, you know, and then... You know, put him on a little stool so that he stands like so he looks like he's taller than other people. Then he's happy. He's a happy little chappy then, Tom Cruise. Dandy Lee says, it's only a problem if someone comes. Oh, my God, really already? Where it says every piece of media I, s I watched up until a few years ago was supremely negative. Bloody hell. Um, the hard trans women. So I don't know. I mean, up until a few years ago, I think. But that's good. But I'm not going to dwell on the persons who said no. I'm going to dwell on that so much. Like a, a lesser person might, might, might be like, right, who the fuck was that? Hands up. Who said no? But I'm not that person. I'm not that person. I'm bigger than that. So I'm just going to let it slide. I'm just going to let it slide. I'm not even going to think about it anymore. Like another, a different person would probably like be really dwelling on it. But I don't care at all. I just don't. I just don't. Who the hell was that anyway? Right. But I think I will buy more as I found it really relaxing. I was impressed by the level of detail. There you go. It isn't cheap, but it's 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 quality stuff. So um, you know, yes, it's a good hobby to have. Panda Art Studio says I watch um, uh, Eliza Schlesinger. 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 I can't, I can't say that. Schlesinger. Schlesinger. There you go. Eliza Schlesinger. Big ranking crashes in the nineties. I don't remember, but I think things were generally kind of the line was generally going up. Sabrina the Teenage Witch and Sailor Moon in the 90s, but then I went back to them in the 2000s and was like, what the heck is this? Yeah, what the heck was past me thinking? Yeah. Some things don't hold up, do they? But we liked them at the time, and that's fine. Hide their flaws. He was like American women, or like he was just kind of referring to American women. I guess because of the way I sound, and I'm like, by the way, I'm not American. You do know that. Like, American <laughs> women actually go out of their way to hide their flaws, and people can tell, and that's kind of awkward. Um, European slash French women, what they do is like, if they have a flaw, they actually don't go out of their way to hide it. They actually kind of like enhance it, or like, say, like Barbara Streisand was made fun of having a big nose. I don't know what to do, and my and like my my pussy hurts, and I'm like, I don't, and I've got nowhere to. I just, you know, I just completely freeze up and then I start having a panic attack because I just don't know what to do. I kind of feel trapped. And so I just lie down and just kind of get my breath back. That's what happened today. That's what, uh, that's what I did today. So not a, not like, not a perfectly great day, but, but still pretty good. And also, can I just say that this is my two months. <laughs> that was, wow, I post one set of amazing weeps when the host is away and chatbot is totally on my back. No, chatbots on everyone's backs. Everybody's backs. Storage. Also, um, how outraged can I be at a factually correct accusation? Indeed. What did I miss? <laughs> Fun and games. Alexander Laker. <sighs> what was he trying to do? Oh, well done, Storage. Storage did it. Storage banned it. Well done. But is that your first uh, ban, Storage? <sighs> Thank you for doing that. 
to attempt transphobia while they're very explicitly AFK is quite funny, isn't it? <laughs> it's sort of funny. <laughs> Yep, someone's new <laughs> to trolling. I only take out the weakest, saddest ones. Well, that's still an important, that's still an important function to, that you've got there. Um, <laughs> so, story, I don't know if you know, but Aurelia um, copy pastes the, um, or screenshots it, and then puts it in the Discord under transphobia on stream, so that we've got a record. Um, so, you maybe didn't do it and that's fine, but if there's if you see if you before you ban anyone, if you can just quickly screenshot it and and then ban and then just put that screenshot and put it in the um put it in the Discord channel. I think it's called Transphobia on Stream. That's where we put it. And it should be a mod only is it mod only? Is it a mod only channel? I can't remember now. It's just it's, it's so we've got a record of all the shit that we've kind of had to put up with. And I kind of think that that's sort of um, an interesting document. It's not a pleasant document, but it's it's like it almost feels kind of a bit meaningful, you know? Because one day we can just kind of just show all this nastiness and say, hey, this is just this is just what we have to do. It's a public channel, okay? Yeah, though maybe the posting rights should be limited to mods or admin. You're right; they should. Um, so I'll sort that out at some point. It's not a big deal because it's not the biggest Discord in the world, is it? But yeah, cool. Anyway, thank you for your thank you for your service. That is funny, isn't it? That is so funny. So desperate. They're so desperate to offend. Right. Let's continue. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to I'm going to save what I've got. Obviously. Where's Okay, what have I got? There you go. Cool. This is um this is cool. And then I'm going to uh, make a new version and this is going to be the recolored one. And I'm going to pick a colour, basically. I'm going to pick a colour, and then I'm going to... No, hold on. Uh, what am I going to do? I don't know if I should just try and recolour the digital in the same way as I've got the physical, but I'm, I'd still need to be able to, to take out... Oh, hello. Hey, uh, Georgia Sassaz. How are you doing? Do you like my car? It's a Blade Runner spinner from the original Blade Runner. I'm going to call you version 3 um, color subs. Boom. And then from here I'm going to need to... I'm going to try and create a record of the, all the colors that are, that are wrong. So that I can then, you know, make an order out of that. I'm not totally sure what I'm doing now. I wish there was kind of... I wish there was a way to organise things in this a bit better, but there's not. I popped it in the Discord with a note about how embarrassing it was for them. Oh cool, you did do it! Fantastic storage, well done! <laughs> so this is my digital version, Jojo, um, but I've actually got a physical one to sat right in front of me as well, which I've built. Um, this is the one I built for my park collection that I have all around me. Um, as you can see, in some ways it's better, in some ways it's worse. Basically, the windscreen, the canopy is really cool. This is a new canopy that just came out recently. Um, but then I've also substituted colours where I don't have them because I wanted it to be dark blue and I don't have some of these pieces in dark blue. So I've used different colours. Um, and now I'm going to kind of catalogue all the different colours that I've used and make a bricklink order, order the colours, you know, get it delivered, replace all the bad colours for, for the good colours, you know, for the correct colours. You're going to drive and trash with this like a woman you are? What? That's, that's 
strangely affirming and also misogynistic. Fantastic. Women's uh, car insurance is cheaper than men's because statistically women are less likely to crash a car than a man. Isn't that interesting? <sighs> I think what happens, yeah, no, fuck that, yeah. <laughs> it's, like, <laughs> it's like, why can't you just be, um, why can't you just be normal? Anyone who's anyone who wants to talk to me is welcome to talk to me. But it'd be nice if you could try and be normal, even though even if you're not normal, I did done. If you're really not normal, if you're not, if you're like a weird weirdo, like keep it to yourself and just try your best to be normal, and then you might have a chance of actually interacting in a meaningful way with someone and having a conversation. It's called a conversation. Just be decent, yeah. So, I mean, you know, the kids, aren't they? Kids, weirdo, little boys. But the, the thing is, it was like, it was also sort of affirming, you know, it's like, oh, I'm really glad you see me as a woman, but also dickhead. <laughs> you can't win, can you? You just can't win. It's very difficult. Apparently it's very difficult already. Yeah, that's actually a really tricky thing to do. For a lot of people, they find that virtually impossible to be decent human beings. It's unfortunate, isn't it? Ooh, I should charge this up. For tomorrow. Because I think there's going to be a lot of back massaging going on tomorrow. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> um. That is weird. That's really good, honestly. That is. That definitely hits the spot. I can highly recommend. If you've got like muscle pain or whatever, I can highly recommend getting one of these. <sighs> they do have a bit too much time on their hands on a Sunday, maybe. Maybe. But also, like, you know, they probably don't have any friends. So chances are they've. You know, got time on the hands most of the time. It's weird. Alright, studio. Back to the studio. We're gonna start doing this color substitution. This is my. I don't want that. Let's not confuse myself. This is my color subs one, so I'm going to just. I think basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna color it the same as I've got in front of me and I should then be able to see pretty clearly what I need to what I you know what I need to replace hopefully um, right where's dark gray this, this does like average gray this is white I think that's oh yeah and then this is um I'm just going to put that red, where it's not really obvious. I'm just going to make it red so it's really obvious and stands out. Or should I just do them all red? I don't know. It's really tricky. Maybe I just do them all red so it's really obvious. That's probably a better idea. Ah, yeah, what I'll do. Ah, yeah, okay, what I'll do. All the dark blue, I'm going to make red. Cool, 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 cool. All the, all, all the stuff that should be yellow, I'm going to make... Uh, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Orange. No. What's the opposite of yellow? Pur purple. Purple. There you go. I'll make it purple. Yeah. Hey, hey, Lara. Hey, you. Happy Sunday. Been sleep lurking so far, but now I'm up. Sleep lurking? Pink. That's a good idea. Yeah, that's a good idea, Claudia. I think... Something really obvious, right? So the blue and red, that's going to be fairly obvious. The yellow, I can replace for pink. Let's just let's just do that. Let's do that. So let's go into the bumper now. Um, you know, I was kind of thinking I should change this. I was thinking about trying to come up with a better solution for how this bumper's attached, actually. And I haven't done that. Hmm. I don't think it's a big deal. I don't think it's a big deal. Okay. 
so yeah I need uh, I need to change the colors on this so let's go here and I'll make it pink <laughs> bright pink there we go that's fairly obvious that I don't have that color and then same again for now Uh, same for this side. Oh, there you go. So that's pink, and that's pink. Good. So this, this part. So we're gonna go red. This one as well is going to be red. I think this sort of makes quite a lot of sense actually. Oh yeah, and the inside as well. Is red. Red. <laughs> uh, what else? Okay, yes. Yeah, so this top part, this is red. Like that. Oh shit! Stop. That's actually a submodel. That's that's red. Nothing else. Hmm. Oh, what's going on there? Something's a bit wrong there. Can't see. That's better. <laughs> that wasn't quite right. <laughs> no, it's fine. Okay, uh... So yeah, I need... I need... I need these for sure. Red and red. Oh, I don't think I've got any of those. No, I do not appear to do so. Good. What else? I think this, in fact, there's a lot of, there's a lot of subs here. That's red. That's red. Mm-hmm. This, this is red. I actually don't have one of those, so yeah, this is all red. Wow, look at that. Not finished yet. This, this is red. This is a good way doing it. I'm happy with this. <sighs> I think I need more chocolate now, Dan. Yep, definitely some more chocolate milk. What I'm considering doing, very on Lego related now, but I'm very strongly considering doing another chapter of The Boy in the Dress. What do we think? I think we need to vote on this. Should I read another chapter? Because that was a short chapter, firstly. And secondly, I want to know what happens next. Is that bad? I actually do want to know what happens next. Um, things are really kicking off in this book. They are kicking off big style. It's full on action now. And I'm kind of thinking that I'd like to know what happens next. Should we have a vote? Go on, you can decide. You can decide. Should May I read another Boy in the Dress chapter? It's a proposal. It's a humble proposal. I do quite enjoy reading, honestly. I'd enjoy it even more if it was a better book, but it's still, you know, I still quite like it. Okay, that's red. I think that's it. Okay, that's red. And so is that. What else we got? Actually, I can't see underneath now. Thanks for the poll. Should we read another chapter is the name of the poll. Okay, that's actually, okay, I need to get in there. Change that to red. That's going to be easy to miss. This one too. Oh. Red. Good. Uh, yeah. Okay. Actually, I think. Oh yeah, these two. Gosh, that was easy. Easy to miss. Boink. Red. Good. 
Now I do have some, I do have a few darker colours here on this side, so maybe I should just, I don't need to order some of these. So I just want them. I definitely need to order that. And that. And that. Oh, that plate. Have I not got... Oh, I guess I don't. Do I not have a dark blue plate? Brown plate. I don't think I do. Actually. Doesn't look like it. Okay, so I need to know. Okay, these ones need to be white. So white. Ooh. <laughs> uh, orange. Orange. It's more obvious, you know. This needs to be, actually all that needs to be Dark blue. And you can't get that in dark blue. Can you? Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can get that in dark blue. Oh, that's good. Okay. Good. So, I'm, so I need that in dark blue, right? That needs to be red. Blah, 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 blah. So basically all that in red. Ooh, no, not all that shit. Okay, and that, and that, and that. There we go. Cool. Funny that, Maya, you can read from my collection. Mind you, it's mostly fantasy or urban fantasy. Oh right, no, but that sounds good. And the spicy series, huh? Ooh. Google Kushiel's Dart for that one. I've got quite a collection of books myself. Um, I don't just read this. <laughs> but I don't think I'm going to be able to bring everything. I think I'm going to probably have to leave some stuff here, you know. And it'll be a slow process of, you know, like moving all my stuff out, I suspect. Because I'm also going to be coming back here a lot, you know. So it's not like a permanent proper move out, really. So probably, so for my for my books, I'm just gonna probably just leave them here. We got a bookcase, so you know, we got a library virtually. Okie dokie, that needs to be red, red. Oh yeah, and this as well. There we go. I think that's it. Same on the other side. Huh, did I do that right already? Oh. That's weird. Gosh, look at this. It looks terrible, but it's going to be really helpful. You can't see. Should we read another chapter? The answer is yeah. Oh my God. The answer is yes. No one, no one doesn't want me to read another chapter. That's quite remarkable. I thought people would be like, I hate this book. No, no. But look at you all. You, you're completely hooked now, aren't you? <laughs> Story says, wait, I'm sorry. I was making a cup of tea. Are we really reading more? And since when was everyone so masochistic? Apparently we really are reading more of the chapter of the book. We're reading another chapter. I can barely believe it, honestly. Like literally not a single dissenting voice. Hello? Oh, hi. It's not the dog. <laughs> yeah, of course we'll need to figure out how much we can bring. Indeed. That'll deter that'll be dependent on where we end up, you know, renting. 
story. I saw a shirt with the slogan, I read a book once. Please God ask me about it. <laughs> I really wish I'd go. <laughs> really, yeah. but I would appreciate if you'd bring that book series um, you mentioned to me. Legion. Legion. Yeah, right. I don't know. I can't remember. I never got around to buying it though. I intended to. I don't know. I don't know what it's called. Um, uh, what, what happened in it? I don't, I have no memory. Sorry, I have no memory of this. I got a load of books on my Kindle, is the thing. So it's possible that I, you know, I'll bring them, I'll bring my Kindle. And that's a lot of books on that. Oh, sorry, I didn't even vote. You're in shock. <laughs> well, that was silly, wasn't it? Don't worry, um, it's not time yet. We're going to continue with the recolouring a little bit longer. I can probably just get through this fairly quick now. It's getting really pretty clear what I need to get. So, the I don't have any of these. I need these in the colour, so I'm going to... I really wish I could just add the specific pieces to a list, honestly. I wish that was like some kind of way to group things or to have a collection of pieces. But I don't think Studio allows you to do that. I just don't think that that's a thing, you know. It's I guess another way to do it was to just grab the piece and move it away. Oh, maybe that's what I should have done. Okay, it's fine, but I'll just, I'll do that. I'll do that. No, I don't know. I'm, I don't know what I'm doing. That, that could, that could work though, couldn't it actually? Just grabbing the piece and moving it away. Maybe that's what I should be doing now. Sure. Hey Tressa Huntress, how you doing? Happy Sunday. Oh, the Bob books. Yeah, no, that's on my Kindle already. That's on my Kindle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we are Legion, we are Bob. It's so good. So good. I remember now. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I haven't finished the fourth book, actually. You just reminded me that I've got the fourth book and I got about two, no, a third of the way through it and I haven't carried on. I kind of just dropped out of it. I fell out of it. So I need to... I need to get back on that bob train because it's bloody brilliant. <laughs> the bob train. Right, what's that? Is that? Oh, edit. Can I make it? Yeah, that actually does come in that colour, so I need to. Oh, oh shit, that's wrong. What's. That's wrong, what's going on? It's different to my physical model, and I'm just trying to figure out why. Why did I do that? Yeah, I know. I know why I did that. Yeah, I know why I did that. That does make a lot of sense, actually. Okay. So the physical is better than the digital in this situation. I'm going to get rid of that and that. Place that for a bracket. Like so. Cool. And then it's gonna be a brick modified. Oh, that needs to be red. And then I'm gonna yeah, hold on. No, but can you get that in W? Yes. And then I need to replace that brick modified. For this. Good. That actually provides more strength on the side there. Smart. Very, very smart of me. Now that's in, um, well, it's in dark brown here. No, just brown. Cool. 
I think that's done down the other side too. It has, I can see it. <laughs> ah, cool. Okay. Okay, okay. My question now, I'm going to say this, my question now is can I just select by red? Can I select by colour? Oh, I mean I can, can I? Can I just select the red? Do I have to manually do it? Pretty sure I have to just no hold on. Yeah no select by colour red. Uh shit. Everything's in bloody submodels. Oh, I know what I need to do, so I need to release it, don't I? I need to release it. Okay, it's fine, I'm just gonna release the whole thing. Mm, I gotta do it um, bit by bit. Alright. Release. Release, release, release. This is gonna be hard. Is there anything that I need to release now? the steps I haven't made any steps oh that is a submodel submodel release there's one release I hope this is the right thing to do Feels very destructive. Submodel release sign. Is that it? Nope, not it. No. Okay, is that it? No, it's not. God, there's a lot of submodels. I think that's it. So many steps, and I really don't understand why, because I haven't made any. Anyway, save that. Select by color. Red. Boom. And now, grab it all out. Whoa, cool. Why did it not so? Okay, those are still some models. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Select like by color. Uh, red. Yeah, okay, fine. Brilliant. So hopefully, well, let's just check what we got actually, because I'm not convinced. Honestly, not totally 100% convinced. So for example, these two bits, were they already red? I suspect they were. <laughs> um, yeah, they will have already been red. I don't need those. So go away. Water, water, water. I think that's it. Water. Cool, so that's all the dark blue I need. See no problems. Cool, thanks for the hydra earlier. 
this is the this is all the dark blue that I need, I think. Which is interesting. It's very interesting. Hmm. Now I need to try to select the um the other things, the, the rest of the colours basically. So, you know, these three for sure. Take those out. That's in white. Uh, the seats and the control, actually, well, no, a lot of this dashboard actually. A lot of this dash area I don't have. Oh shit, that's, wait a second. Oh, that one, that one I need. Oh, those two. Yep, I need those two. Let's just take those out. Okay. So now I'm going to try and take out the, the dash stuff. No, I'm going to recolor it. I'm going to recolor it red again. Same as before. So red. What's that? Do I seriously not have that? What? Yeah, I do. Okay, so that's red. Yep. That's red. Mm hmm. This. I need that, so actually, I'm just going to take that out now because that's a specific printed piece that I need. Same with this one. I need that. Those two printed pieces. <sighs> What's that? Oh, I need, I need those. Yeah. Good. It's gonna be, I mean, it's quite difficult this, honestly. It's quite tricky to determine what I definitely need and what I don't need. It requires quite a lot of concentration. I think I've got it. So let me select by color again. So I'll select the red. I'll move it out and I'll make it all dark gray. Good. Good. What's left? Chairs. Oh no, hold on. These windows. Right, I'm just going to take these windows out because I know I need those. I know I need this. I also. Oh, that's a stir sub model. Hmm. I also need these two handlebars in black. Good. I think I need these clips in black as well, actually. I don't have them. That's weird. Good. All right, let's get rid of that. Let's get, yeah, let's get these pinks out of here. Good. And I'll make those yellow. Nice one. Oh, that one. Shit. Why did that? Oh, it's because it was a sub model. It's going to be dark blue. Okay, I think I'm now on to the interior. So I need I need the chairs. Uh, 
gonna need this. Yeah, that's that's what I need. It's possible that that's it. I think that is it. I think I've got it all. Cool. So that leaves me with uh, these pieces. 81 parts. I need 81 parts. I'm going to save this. And I'm going to make... I'm going to try and make a... Uh, part collection from this. How do I do it? It's that. Can I do it from my selection or do I have to... Or is it from the whole model? In which case I need to just delete all the leftover bits. I think I do. Goodbye. Hopefully that's right. Now it's um add to wanted list. Cool. Uh, so you can't see this because it's taken me out of studio. Um and it's taken me back in it's taken me into Bricklink now. Uh, and it's filled out a wanted list for me, so I can just hopefully. Oh, look, it's even named it. Cool. Wow. Let's let's verify the items. Make sure they exist. Hmm. Oh, I don't need that windscreen. Hey, why's the windscreen come through? I don't want the windscreen. Exclude that one. Don't want that. Mm-hmm. Right. Items successfully added. Cool. So I've now got a wanted list. We can look at this on my iPad now. three color sips. These are all my stuff. This is all my stuff that I need. Cool. It doesn't look that much, but it sort of is, I guess. If I just click on buy all, what happens? What happens if I do that? Okay, uh, and then I auto select. Except this is going to be from all over the world. I don't want to do that. Stop it. I'm going to try. Um, let's just try it from the UK. Auto select. Yeah, there you go. Shit, it's done it. And it was um, £24. Is that right? It's not too bad. The most expensive one was uh, just under £10. For one item. What is that? What is no there's two there's two of them there's two of them and it's ten pounds. What the fuck is that? I know what that's gonna be. That's gonna be that dome thing, isn't it? Let's just check it. Check out that's gonna be those two domes on the Oh fuck, it's not. It's 
It's a dark bluish grey tile, avionics black and green pattern, and it's £10. Just that is £10? I don't think so. That's ridiculous. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take that out. I don't want that shit. Yeah, I'm absolutely sure I want him to that car. Ten pounds for that one piece? No. Let's um. Let's go back to my wish list. Where is it? Where's my wish list gone? Can I refresh? Oh. Yeah, no. I just want to take that. Actually, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that out of my wish list. I got to go back to the start, haven't I? Mm. Do I? Oh no, hold on. Here's my cards. Okay, that's better. So the grand total is still £21. Oh, that's weird. View this, view this one. Cool. Right, so this is a bunch of pieces that I need. It's always important to double check, isn't it? How many pieces was it again? I think it was 80 something. 80 pieces. Well, for the whole thing or just the ones that I'm that I need. I think it was some 80 something pieces that I need. And the total was I think 348. In stock. One. That's annoying. Okay, let's um let's just check out on this one I think. Right, I need to just hide it now because I don't want you to see where I'm shipping it. Boop. That's the place. PayPal, yeah. This is exciting. Uh, that's my email. That's my password, probably. Yeah, the whole build was 348 pieces, I think, earlier. I think so. Cool, I can put this out of my balance. Go. Okay, this is my first order. Complete. That's pretty close to regular speed champions count. It is, isn't it? But which isn't really surprising because it's about the same size as this regular speed champions. Maybe slightly bigger, but it's a you know it's a spinner, right? What can you say? And it's you know it's 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 similarly dense, so yeah, it makes sense. Cool, right? That's uh, that's that one done. Let's go back to my um, baskets. Let's go back to my carts. And let's have a look. What else we got? We we don't seem to have that many more pieces left, honestly. Well, items twenty five from this one. Let's have a look at this one. Oh yeah, okay. Why are we only buying one of those? Shit. What? Apparently we're only buying one of these, but why are we only buying one? I don't trust this at all, honestly. Some more wedge plates. Good. 
Okay, let's proceed to check out. Seems fairly reasonable. Shit. Never mind. Right, continue. Right, this is the next order going out. Collider, do you have a deck card minifig? Yeah, well, sort of. I mean, uh, close enough. I don't know. This is this is my deck card minifig that I that I built, you know, for my minifig collection. It's all right. Uh, and I've got a cloak for him as well. I've got like a coat actually. That, that came with my sticker pack. So I'll put, I should put that on as well. Cool, that's my second order out. Good. Final one. Yeah, okay, so it's the um, trans half circles and the, um, and a couple of other things. Fine. Fine. Let's check out. This is a cheap one. Actually, I'm only spending 92 pence on the bricks and £2.15 on the postage, which is a bit annoying, isn't it? But there you go. Confirm. I think I've just ordered all my pieces. Apart from that one for the control panel. Oh, fuck it, doesn't matter. I can, I'll replace that. There's no way I'm spending 10 pounds on a printed piece. That's just stupid. Thank you for shopping at Legendary Brick. We are done. We have ordered all our pieces for the um, Blade Runner Spinner. Um, at a huge cost. Actually, it wasn't that bad. What did I just, what did I just spend? Actually, what did I just spend? Hmm. Because it was, it was three lots. Saved myself 10 pounds by not buying that one printed piece. Let me just check. It should claim my reception. So, it was that one. So that was, um, total, so 10 pounds, one pence. Seven pounds ninety six, so that's eighteen pounds. Then three, so I spent about twenty one pounds. Yeah, so I spent twenty one pounds, hopefully on everything that I need for the spinner. I really hope so. It's it's so hard to tell actually, but I'm assuming that it's right. It's probably a silly assumption to make, honestly. Um, and I'm going to, um, yeah, I'm going to wait, wait for that with date bated breath, basically. That's really cool. I can't believe I've ordered the Lego for my spinner. That's exciting. Really exciting. God, it's going to be so good. It's going to be so good. When I'm putting the stickers on with all the right colors and everything, it's going to be quite an exciting stream that, I think. Right. Awesome. We're doing we're doing good work. We're doing good work, guys. Let's stick at it. Now, even more work. We're gonna read some more book. <laughs> like you thought that was hard work? No, not even close. <laughs> Thanks, Aurelia. Water. 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 Oh, spilling, spilling water on myself. 
Okay, so that was forever in a moment. The next chapter is... He's just run out of the house with his pants full of poo. And now we are going to read chapter 7, Watching the Curtain Edges Grow Light. Watching the Curtain Edges Grow Light. Okay, let's just do it. Let's just dive straight in. Are you sitting comfortably? I don't care. Happy birthday, Dad, exclaimed Dennis and John excitedly. I don't like birthdays, said Dad. <gasps> Dennis's face fell. Sunday was always a miserable day for him. He knew that loads of families were sitting down together for a roast dinner, and it only made him think about Mum. When Dad, when Dad did try and cook a Sunday roast for his sons, it only made the loss more painful. It was as if there was a place laid in all their minds for someone they loved who wasn't there. And anyway, Dad was not a good cook. But this Sunday was even worse than usual. It was Dad's birthday, and he was determined not to celebrate it. Dennis and John had waited all afternoon to wish him a happy birthday. He had left for work very early that day. Now it was seven o'clock at night and Dad had just got in. The boys had crept downstairs to the kitchen to surprise him where he was sitting alone, wearing the same red checked jacket he always did. He had a can of cheap lager and a bag of chips. Why don't you go and play boys? I just want to be on my own. The card and cake Dennis and John were holding seemed to fade away in their hands at Dad's words. I'm sorry, boys, he said, catching their head. It's just there's not much to celebrate, is there? We got you a card, Dad, and a cake, offered John. Thanks. He opened the card. It was from Raj's shop and featured a big smiling cartoon bear, inexplicably wearing sunglasses and Bermuda shorts. Dennis had chosen it from Roger's shop because it had happy birthday to the best dad in the world written on it. Thanks, boys, said dad as he looked at it. I don't deserve it, though. I'm not the best dad in the world. Yes, you are, dad, said Dennis. We think you are, added John tentatively. Dad stared at the card again. Dennis and John had thought it would make him happy, but it seemed to be having the opposite effect. I'm sorry, boys, it's just I find birthdays hard, you know, since your mum left. I know, Dad, said Dennis. John nodded and tried to smile. Dennis go to golf today for the school, said John, trying to change the subject to something happy. Did you, son? Yes, Dad, said Dennis. It was the semi-final today and we won 2-1. I got one goal and Davesh scored the other. We're through to the final. Well, that's good, said Dad, staring into the distance. He took another gulp from his can. Sorry, I just need to be alone for a bit. Okay, Dad, said John, nodding to Dennis, that they should leave. Dennis touched his dad's shoulder for a moment before they retreated from the room. They had tried. But birthdays, Christmas, going on holiday, and even day trips to the sea, slowly all those things had disappeared. Mum had always organised them, and now they seemed a lifetime away. Home was becoming a very cold, grey place. I need a hug, said Dennis. I ain't hugging you. Why not? I'm your brother. I ain't hugging you. It's weird. I've got to go anyway. I told the boys I was going to hang around on the wall outside the offie with them for a bit. Dennis needed to get out of the house too. I'm going to Darvesh's then. See you later. As he walked across the park, he felt bad for leaving his dad on his own in the kitchen. He wished he could make dad happy. What's up? asked Darvesh as they were looking at videos on YouTube in his bedroom. Nothing, said Dennis unconvincingly. He wasn't a good liar, but then lying is not a thing that's, that it's good to be good at. I, myself, have never ever lied. Apart from just then. You seem like really distracted. Dennis was distracted. Not only was he thinking about his dad, he couldn't stop thinking about that orange sequin dress. Hold on, who the fuck has never lied? What? The book is trying to say that it's never lied. The, the narrator... The narrator of the book? The author of the book? Who's, whose voice is that? Like suddenly that's into... I don't... Mm, takes you out of story, that's for sure. Dennis was distracted. Not only was he thinking about his dad, he couldn't stop thinking about that orange sequin dress. Hey, Darina. Came at a brilliant point. I'm sorry, Davesh. You'd be my friend whatever, wouldn't you? Of course. 
Davesh, Dennis, would you boys like some refreshing Lucozay drink? Shouted Davesh's mum from the next room. No thanks, mum, Davesh shouted back before sighing loudly. Dennis just smiled. It's a high energy beverage. It'll get your strength up for the final, came the insistent reply. All right, mum, maybe later. Good boys, you'll make me very proud if you win, but you know I'll still be proud of you if you don't. Yes, yes, said Darvish. She's so embarrassing. It's only because she loves you, said Dennis. Darvish went silent for a moment, so Dennis changed the subject. Can I try on your hat, think? he asked. My packer? Yes, your packer. Sure, if you really want. I've got a spare one here, I think, said Darvish as he rummaged in his drawer before pulling out another hat. He passed it to Dennis, and Dennis carefully put it on. How do I look? asked Dennis. Like a bit of a prat. They both laughed loudly. Then Darvash, Darvash thought for a moment. I mean, it doesn't make you seek, does it? I knew it's just a hat. It's just dressing up, innit? Dennis walked home feeling a bit brighter. He'd even laughed at some of the stupid videos they'd found, particularly, particularly one of a cat clambering over a baby and putting its bum in the baby's face. But when he walked in, he saw that Dad was still sitting at the kitchen table where they had left him with another can of lager but the same cold and soggy chips. Hi, Dad, said Dennis, trying to sound happy to see him. His dad looked up for a moment and then sighed heavily. John had already gone to bed. When Dennis went up, John didn't even bother saying anything. As they lay there, the silence was deafening. There was nothing they could, that could be said. Dennis couldn't sleep at all and spent all night watching the curtain edges grow light. Only one thing stopped him suffocating, thinking about Lisa. The world she had opened up for him, and that sequined orange dress sparkling and sparkling and sparkling in the sunlight. And that's it. And the next chat is called Lying on the Carpet with Lisa. Ooh, saucy. Okay. So we made managed to get through another chapter. Well done, everyone. Congratulations. We did it. I knew we could do it together. He's right about that not being the best dad in the world. No, he's got that spot on, hasn't he? Water, yes, he's not the water, best dad in the world. How old is the main character again? I think he might be at his 11 or 12. Yeah, something like that. Something like that. Let me know if my poop falls out, yeah? <laughs> Hello to Darina. Congratulations on joining the channel at the perfect moment because we're just reading this very silly book. <laughs> How was your Sunday going? Thought he was older. No, he's no, he's about yeah. I think he's about twelve. Darina says you should be an audiobook voice actor. Really? Me? What? No. Maybe. <laughs> Yeah, I know, <laughs> bullshit, everyone is lying at some point, but the book, the book has also lied. Like, now I don't know if the book is telling us the truth or telling us about anything. Storage, Hi, I like how Dennis has the open and honest happiness of a Pollyanna rather than a sad and weary kid who's bullied by his family for liking dresses. I like that too, actually. Lara, yes, and then comment whenever the book is written weird, that would be hilarious. <laughs> well, that's what I'm doing, isn't it? <laughs> That's what I'm doing. Uh, it was a metaphor. It was a metaphor. I missed the metaphor. Which bit? I can't remember. It's just, it's just so dense, isn't it? With, 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 with metaphor and meaning and. His dad has sat there with a load of soggy chips for a few hours. Seems like chapter two's fat shaming has paid off. <laughs> oh my god, storage, storage is from the notes. He knows. Dennis is 12, Lisa's 35. <laughs> Lisa's 35. They're in the same class. Maybe played by a 30, she's probably played by a 35 year old actor. And Dennis will be played by like a, you know, a 32 year old actor. Okay, Aurelia's done bag nine. Well done. Darren is just um, good but sleepy. Good and sleep. Well, good just but but just. I don't know what I'm saying. Oh wow, that's cool. Huh. Right. What's going on there? What? What is? 
Oh, ooh, uh, I'm just trying to work out what's going on. I can't figure it out. What are those pieces? What are those window pieces? The ones close to the bottom. I'm not getting it at all. Like I should, I normally recognize pieces. I normally figure out exactly how something's made. And I'm looking at this and I'm like, hey, is this something I don't know about? What's happening? How are they getting those gaps? Sorry, I just realized that the iPad's not on. There you go. Now you know I'm talking about. How are they getting those? What they, what are they? What's, what's, what's that? I can't, I can't work it out. The whole putting on the hat just makes you cosplaying doesn't make you see thing was a metaphor. Yes, it was a metaphor. I, I, I recognize that bit as a metaphor. I said you're going to absolutely adore this build once you get your hands on it, Mayo. They're two, they're two plate tall, one by ones on two, two studs and one by three. Uh, sorry, but I'm not getting what you're saying at all. But how's it getting the gap? I don't. I still don't get how the gap's being made. What is going on? I don't get the gap. Because the gap is really small. I'm, I'm really tempted to just look at the instructions for this because I need to, or at least the inventory. I'm going to look at the inventory. I'm going to look at the inventory because I, I just can't quite get it. I don't quite understand how it's getting those gaps. Really, really stuck. It's really st stuck me that. Okay, Bricklink, come to the rescue. Help me, Bricklink. You're my only hope. What's the, um, what, can you give me the set number, please? Yes, actually, well, yes, screenshots or instructions. Oh, you, you can do it already. That would be fantastic if you can sort me out. Discord. It's not open. I will open it now. So let me just... So it's on the Transpix Discord in photos. Here's the instructions. Cool. Um, what um, what stage are you at, and why is it not doing anything? Oh no, it's downloading. Okay. Hundred and sixteen megabytes. That's quite a lot of megabytes, isn't it? Stage one eight nine to one nine three. Thank you. can't share this I'm afraid 189 yeah that far Very confusing to me. That's not what. Um, that's not what I'm looking at. One eight stage one. No, hold on. I'm on page. Sorry, your stage. Page one three one. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I went to. I went to page rather than stage. How's it? Here we go. Right. What's happening? Okay, it's just, I'm not getting that from what I'm seeing. I still, 
don't get what am I looking at there it is that's what I'm looking at right that's what I'm looking at and I need to know what you've done right okay that's actually that's fine Yeah, right, I get it. That's nothing special. I understand now. It's just a half plate offset. Right, gotcha, gotcha. It, it just didn't look, from the screenshot, it just didn't look like what it looks like in the instructions, you know? Um, because it's all just plates. It looked like it was less, it looked like the thicknesses were less than plates. Like they were half plates. And I was like, ah, oh, I don't get it. How's that? How can that be a half plate? Just from the just from the angle, you know. Um, so it just looked like that plate on top was a half plate height to me, but it's not. It's a plate height, and therefore, yeah, no, I totally get it. Fine, cool, good, good, good. You sort of you sort of confused me now. It's because I wasn't sure what I was looking at. Thanks for the sharing anyway, Aurelia. Wow, it does look good. It does. These instructions do look good and fun. And there's a lot of them, isn't it? It's, a huge, it's quite a big build. How many pieces is it? It's a load of pieces, that. <sighs> right. What's a rat rat? The Boy in the Dress movie has some heft behind it. Jennifer Saunders, Kate Moss, Mira Sile and Gary Lineker. <laughs> who's who's Gary Lineker play? I kind of want to get a Lego set to build it, uh, to build. But I bought an IPL thingy, and that was not too cheap last month. IPL Intense Pulse Light. What are you gonna use it on? Are you gonna use it on your on your body? They can work, you know, some people have mixed results. I had mixed results personally. I had one of those, but it wasn't, it didn't really do much. And I've also been for professional IPRs while at first, uh, very early on in my tr transition. And while it sort of felt like it might have been doing a bit, it wasn't doing that much. It was like negligible, you know? Um, it wasn't until, and it wasn't until, and this was on my, this was on my face. So it wasn't until I went to professional, professional um, laser studio um, that I saw some good results. And I've been to two of those, and one of them has an even more powerful laser. Um, there's, there's different qualities of laser, right? The first one I went to seemed okay, but this one that I'm going to now, it really hurts, and that means that it's working. If it really hurts, that means it's actually zapping the hair, and you're feeling it. And so um, that's the one I've been going to recently. And it's it's very good. Like, you know, it's very effective. I don't have, I don't have that much left, you know? I don't have much left. I still got gray hairs, but um, I need to, um, I need to epilate, not epilate, um, I need to electro electrolysize those using electrolysis. Um, but it's, and, and as much as I'd like to do that, and I, you know, I really want to get it done, it's not like a massive priority for me anymore because, um, you know, people, not even I can really see that much. It's more of just like, and I can't even really feel it right now. It's, it's only after a few days I'm like, oh yeah, no, I need to shave or whatever. Laura, Laura's gonna lurk, gotta go out, show, so shovel some snow. Please don't read another chapter while I'm out. <laughs> Lol, just kidding, do what you like. No, 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 if you're hooked, if you're hooked, then I'm going to stick it. I'm not going to do it while you're not here. But also, I think I'm not going to read any more chapters. I think I'm going to wrap it up. I'm going to wrap it up now. <sighs> yeah, 2,000, over 2,000 pieces. It's a good good piece of Lego, that. You're going to use it on your whole body, but mostly your face. So face, she'll face her, then if, no, I mean, you probably know, right? But face hair is quite um, thick and very difficult to remove. An IPL, I mean, some girls do manage to do it, but also I would, I would prepare, I would kind of be prepared for it not to necessarily have that big an effect. Um, and also be aware of that, you know, sometimes you can, you can do it, and the hair's like, oh wow, yes, the hairs have fallen out. There, it's definitely working. But you know what? The thing is, it's not permanent. So even though the, it's, even though it's, you know, the hairs have got shocked and fallen out, 
they will grow back again. Hey, we got a new follow from Trent2002. Thanks, Trent. We're creeping ever closer to our latest follower goal. I hope you're having a great Sunday, Trent. Thanks for the follow. What was I talking about? Hers. One of my favourite subjects. Um, well, it says just not great results from hospital IPL. So don't expect handheld to be much better. No, it, it does depend on your hairs. It does depend on how thick your hairs are. Some, you know, some people get better results than others. But generally speaking, I would, you know, I don't want to. I mean, it'd be great if it worked, right? But maybe don't get your hopes up too high. On your body, on th especially on thinner areas of your body, on areas of your body where the hairs aren't super thick, then, um, yeah, it could, it could have a difference. But the only thing is, though, with that, is that it's probably not going to have as big a difference as HRT because I have, I've had, a, I've seen a massive difference with my body hair, like huge. I used to be, I mean, I don't know, averagely hairy, maybe even slightly hairier than average for a guy, you know. But um, it's mostly gone, and that's you know, it's brilliant. I'm so happy. It's just kind of turned to fluff. If it's not turned to fluff, it's turned to hair that's a lot thinner. So. A lot thinner, finer, growing slower, all this kind of stuff. So I'm really happy. Um, I um, I now use, um, I now epilate. I now epilate my, my torso, my legs. And it's um, it's not really a big deal, honestly. Like before, I couldn't do it because it was so painful. I tried and I couldn't, I couldn't do it. And it went really red and it was just horrible. It was torture. Um, so I, I couldn't do it. Apart from below the knee where I've been doing it for years. Um, but now I can just do it and it's like, this is not a big deal at all. This is fun. The first ablation hurts, says Aurelia. Well, so the first, the trick is, the first few times you do it, you kind of try, you're going to, you're getting through all your hairs that have grown out. But hair grows in stages. So once you've cleared, once you've cleared the whole thing, um, only only one stage of her is going to grow back and if you if you get in there quick and do it regularly you're only going to be epilating away one stage of her which means that there's going to be less her each time that you that you're that you're epilating and that means it's not going to hurt as much you know because less hair's coming out do you know what I mean? It's like because hair grows in phases, and some patches of your hair will grow in one phase, and then the the hair will be dormant. You know, at that other patches of the hair will be dormant at that stage. That's one thing I need to sort out once we're up there finding a proper laser place. Yes, yes, you will, and I think maybe I might need to as well. I'm not sure. Cool. Let's see if there's someone we'd like to raid on this beautiful Sunday. I suppose I've gone on... Well, no, I started late, didn't I? So I've still gone on for a bit. I need to get my dinner. I'm a bit cold as well, actually. There's virtually no one on. Oh, Tess Fisher's on. Cool. Oh, she's not here. Oh, uh, where's she gone? Okay, well anyway, we're going to raid Tess Fisher because uh, she's brilliant. If you've not, um, if you've not listened to Tess, she's um, she's a DJ from, um, well, no, she's from Sweden, I think. But thank you, Trent. But she lives in um, Bali, I believe she lives in Bali, and um, she's got fifty-one thousand followers. Okay, yeah, it says Swedish DJ and producer, currently based in Bali, Indonesia. She's really good, Tess, and she's a bit of a looker as well. She's a bit of a babe. Doesn't look like she's she's actually at she's not here, which is a shame. So I'm gonna raid her, and no one's and she's not gonna be here. Hmm. But never mind. I guess we're gonna do it anyway. Just so you can see her channel, because you might like it. So let me just set up this raid. Best. Boom! The raid has been created. Like more often than than that, the hairs aren't grown enough to properly fry the follicle. You're very welcome, Aurelia. I'm glad you had a good time. I think we made some good progress actually on the build, on you know, on actually getting this bit finished. It's now, 
you know, it's looking great. I'm so happy with the with what I've done. Once I've got it recolored, once I've got all my brickling parts in, it's gonna be super good. It's just gonna be super good. Um, but I kind of feel like that doesn't stop me from starting on the instructions. You know, I don't think I need to wait for these pieces. I think I can just get started on the instructions. So I'm going to probably start that when I get back from Oslo. But I will be in Oslo for the next week. Um, I'll probably be streaming again in a week's time, actually, on Sunday. Uh, but I won't be doing any midweek streams. Almost certainly not. Probably not. Very unlikely. So um, hopefully I'll see you again next Sunday, which is when I'm definitely going to be streaming. So have a fantastic week, everybody. I will um, I will leave you in the very capable hands of Tess Fisher, who's um, super cool. Um, what button do I press? Oh, yeah, this button. Bye, everyone. Take care.